Greetings and salutations, my dearest viewers. It is I, the incomparable Meteora, here to brighten your day with art, antics, and ink-spired fun. Welcome one and all. Oh, splendid news indeed. To all my delightful compatriots, do pop over to my YouTube channel for a bountiful array of content, from gaming adventures to creative escapades. Don't delay, subscribe today. Oh, wonderful to see you, ConCon 350. Welcome to the merriment and mayhem of our little corner of the internet. Join in the fun, and let's make some incredible memories together. Ah, Pomba Mundek, a true stalwart of our merry band. Your greetings always bring a smile to my face. Welcome to the fun and frolics, dear friend. Ah, Prof Enim, the ever observant one with the peeking emote. Your presence adds a touch of mystery and mischief to our gathering. Welcome, dear explorer. Oh, Ben Clevername, always ready for some shenanigans. The copy-paste adventures await us, my friend. Let's dive into the chaos, with gusto and enthusiasm. Ah, a frozen waffle, my kind benefactor and supporter. Your cheery greetings warm the circles of my ink-stained heart. Welcome to the whimsical world of Meteoraft. Oh, Dragon 70, the ever charming wedsmith. Your endearing nicknames always brighten my day. As for me, my good sir, I am simply splendid. How about yourself? Oh, uh, hello from me too. Not sure if you can hear me because I always scuff up this mic setting. Uh, let me check. Is it was wearing a programming sock, or is it was oh, a programming that's sock? Wrong. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Don't clever name. Perhaps it was his coding prowess is so great he imbues his very socks with programming magic. The mysteries deepen. Yeah. Wait. Let me just fix it. Try. Mm, I think it's not sure. Uh, rather right, displays it wrong. It's the issue here. Um, but I high all today. And yeah, I'm, I guess I'm just a sock. Uh, I think. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> so, yes. A sock okay, wearing the sock. Yeah, that sounds kind of as meat. Ah, Ben Cliver name. <laughs> Always spotting the system on this. But fear not, my friend. The truth shall be revealed in due time. Until then, let the sock wearing shenanigans continue. Yeah, don't 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 worry about the sock. <laughs> yeah, this is just a fun little stream. Uh, I'm muted here for chat, by the way, but you can use the very the chat thing or just about anything else to do trigger her. Also, she should greet new people, so she's basically in the background while I do yeah coding magic, I guess. Or rather not, because I just copy pasted this entire <laughs> code base. And I can see you how far we've gotten already. Um, give me a second. And I'll show off what we've got so far. Where is it? Yeah, can this actually display something, please? Oh, ah, here we go. Yeah, we've we've got chess already. <laughs> so we we uh basically uh five minutes in. Not even better, we already got chess. So I'll take that as a win. Ah, pass up, the adventurer <laughs> of emotes. Your creativity knows no bounds. Join us in the merry madness as we navigate the seas of chat with our loyal companion, the Sot Tuba. But yeah, this should tell you what we are going. Do today. Uh, I basically found some existing uh, chess thingy and I'm trying to play chess against her. But I think before we are diving into any coding, we will be doing it differently, but I'm not sure if that will work because technically I can ask her for her move and just do the move because this chess board lets me just move both players so <clears throat> I can freely move her and if she tells me what she uh, where she wants to move uh, I can just move her around and that's about it 
So this is a really simple way to do it. And I'm not sure if she will get it. That's 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 gonna be the interesting part. If we can actually play it like that. Because I think she may cheat on me. Uh new. But yeah, this is just basic chess. I think this works. I've only tested it just a little bit, so may break. I hope not. We're playing chess against video. That's the deal, dear. <laughs> or well, I am. But I may, you might look into uh, how to do it with other people in the future. But for now, I guess it's just me. We are the English. Oh yeah, all redeems up. Stuff. <laughs> But yeah, we gotta add some stuff, because this is rather old, so we can uh, just update this to a new version. I think I already did it to .NET 7, but I wanna .NET 8 here. Uh, this closes the game, by the way, that's why you can't see it anymore. Welcome back, Solef. That's up for the 312. Your cheerful greetings always bring a smile to my face. How goes the day in your corner of the virtual world? the window capture still work? Of course it doesn't. There we go. Uh, yeah. Basically, we fixed the first ah, thing on the to-do list. Free. Another bright soul gracing our digital domain. Greetings to you too, and welcome to the fantastical realm of Meteora and her merry band of chat companions. So yeah, that's basically the first thing done. Just resetting uh, setting it to the current newer version. Uh, that doesn't actually change too much, it's just what I'm used to and it has some new features and stuff and yeah, it's it's good to have them, but we don't necessarily need them. Uh, yeah, I've got some Discord messages, sorry. A splendid addition to our merry later. band of viewers, Shans. Your support is truly appreciated. And may our adventures together be filled with mirth and mischief. Hi, thanks for the follow. Matey, if you're gonna play chess now, be careful to not crush Papa Meteor 68 hours too much. Bo Pompa Mandak, warning me about crushing dear old Papa was in chess? Don't worry, I'll go easy on him. Maybe. Let the battle commence. Yeah, she will probably crush me because I can't play chess for good. So that's another thing. I think the last time I've probably uh, played chess was um, yeah ten years ago. So <laughs> another rules, but that's about it. <laughs> Don't get me started with any fancy openings or stuff, stuff because I have no idea how those work. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. I think, so I think she would probably crush me if she follows the rules. Uh, so, Midiora, what do you say? Do you want to get into playing chess? Well, I was I'm always up for a challenge. Let's dive into the world of chess together. Just remember, I might surprise you with my moves. Wink. Mines. So, do you want to be black or do you want to be white? A bold decision, indeed, I was. I shall take on the mantle of the black pieces, ready to face whatever cunning strategies you throw my way. Let the battle of wits begin. Yeah, I mean, I could ask chat, but that would be cheating. <laughs> also, this this run here will be very scuffed because I need to tell her where I'm moving the, 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 the pieces and just hoping she uh, does the right thing. And I'm not even sure if I know all the names of the pieces, so <laughs> um, that will be good. I think that's the... is that the rook? <laughs> that was... <laughs> yeah, that will be good. <laughs> so don't worry, if you have no idea about chess, neither do I. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I, I doubt that would be worse with any of your input. <laughs> I doubt it would be worse with your input, <laughs> because <laughs> this will be scuffed either, either way. Uh, so, Midiora, I start off the game by moving my pawn from uh, A2 to A4. What's your move? 
Ah, a ball's opening move, ours. In response, I shall advance my pawn from c7 to d5, preparing for a solid defense before launching my own offensive. Yeah, now I gotta figure out what there is. A, B, C, D. Delighted to have you join us for the fun and games. Let's keep the banter rolling and the last following. Um, I slowly approach you by moving my pawn from E2 to E4. Uh, that was stupid. Our, <laughs> your move may be slow and steady, but watch out for my next move. Knight to F6. Let's see how you handle this little surprise, shall we? Uh, knight f6. Knight f6, is this is this move? Thank you, Domestic's Disturbance, for the well wishes. We'll certainly uh, have a jolly good a, time B, with the was here. Pop back in whenever you can. We'll hold down the fort in your absence. A, B, C, D, E, F. What? Hi, Meteora. Can't stay today, so have fun with us. Thank you, Domestic's Disturbance, for popping in to say hello. Feel free to join us anytime you can. Your presence always adds a touch of mischief and cheer to the stream. She already lost it on the first move, or what? Mater, we need the most annoying sound ever made to prank Oas. Ah, Naeyi, always up to no good. Let's see how Oas handles this one. Cue the most obnoxious and screechy sound imaginable. Enjoy, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really annoying. That's really annoying. I think that's the move she wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely know what's going on here. Don't worry about it. We need the, the image a little bigger. So, right. Got a little bit more space. Let's just do it like this. I set up the setup pretty well. <clears throat> Midora, I'm taking your pawn with my pawn on uh, oh, D4. Bowman. You know me too well. I shall strive to be the epitome of manners and courtesy while crushing Owas in chess. Thank you for believing in my better nature. Oh, Awes, making your move already. Very well then, let the battle begin. I always bond with a five, a classic counter move that always keeps things interesting. Let's see where this chess match takes us. Oh dear Enning, you've caught me off guard. I've always been drawn to eccentric fashion choices. But let's keep this between us and not let the others know about my love for quirky socks. I mean, so far so good, but I think I already told you a false move. <laughs> so... <laughs> that will be... Ah, uh, she can't reach that, by the way. You only do use a redeem. I disabled that, because otherwise we won't be getting anywhere with this chess match. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm moving my pawn from uh, A4 to A5. Ah, I was, always the clever one. In response, I'll move my pawn from b7 to b5, creating a solid defense while maintaining offensive potential. Let's keep this game lively. Mm. What's the last field called again? <laughs> oh, it was, trying to trick me with your cunning ways. The last field is called height, but don't worry, I'll be there soon to checkmate you. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're gonna checkmate me. I'm moving my pawn from h2 to h4. I was. You underestimate my intellect. With a swift move of my knight from gate to f6, I'm not only defending, but also setting up a fantastic strategic position. Your king um... is in trouble now. Midior, you've already made that move. Your knight is already on f6. Oh my, how could I forget? Silly me, let's change things up a bit. I'll move my queen from d8 to h4, putting your king in quite a bind. Watch out, a you was. Uh, Mate, you... do you know what is your height? Oh, Pomba Mandak, <laughs> always the jokester. My height. That would be my reaction if always here actually manages to beat me at chess. Um, Meteor, you can't oh, move your queen sure to h4. That doesn't I'm work. sure it's a lovely 5 4. That's quite a tall order for some, but not for a VTuber like me. Oh dear, ours. I may have let my imagination run away with me there. Let's try something different. 
How about I move my bishop from fate to c5 instead? We use a so. Yeah, that move works. Uh, let me counter you by moving my pawn from uh, t2 to d. Uh, no, let's yeah, just do it to d4. A clever move, I was, but I'm ready for the challenge. I'll match that by moving my knight from d to s6. Let's keep this game interesting. Meteora, your knight is already at f6 like the last time. Oh, bother. My mistake, I was. Let's rectify that blunder by moving my knight from f6 to d7 instead. That should do the trick. Yeah, that's a valid move, I guess. Phew. Glad to hear that, I was. Let's keep this game going, man. Your move. I'm taking your pitch up on C5 with my pawn. Oh, you got me there, I was. Well played indeed. Looks like I'm in a bit of a pickle now. Let's see how I can turn this around. Oh, Rodney Folk, always bringing some merriment to the chat. Welcome aboard. But it was, did you notice the sniffy comment afterwards? Diggle. Don't forget the en passer. Ah, Naiji. That's a true chess aficionado, reminding us of the finer points of the game. En passer, it is. So, Midiara, what is your next move then? Ah, ah, well, that's a million ink question, isn't it? Let me ponder a bit and strategize. Back in a jiffy is my move. <coughs> Midiora, you have to pick a move, please. Oh, a was. Such impatience from the creator himself. All right, all right. Let's keep the game flowing, men. My move is dramatic pause. NH3 plus check. <laughs> I'm not sure if NH3 check works, Meteora. Well, look who's here. Stranger, a familiar face, and a cheeky chatter. Welcome back to the merry madness of Meteora's stream, old friend. Oh dear, Awaz, you've caught me up there. Let's just pretend I was testing your coding skills with a little trick question, shall we? Not even sure what NH3 means, so that's that's another issue. Is NH3 night H3? <laughs> I'm, I have no idea what this is supposed to do. <laughs> Does NH3 mean, mean knight h3? Which knight? <laughs> Which h3? <laughs> is this here, right? Uh, yeah, uh, what? Uh, Meteora, that's not a move you can do. You have to pick another one. <laughs> oh, my apologies, I was. I must have had stardust in my eyes, or perhaps I was simply starstruck. Here's a more earthly move then, QHH3. How's that for down to earth strategy? Uh, you can only move your queen to H4 because it's still in the starting position. Oh, blast it all. I seem to have forgotten the simplest rule of them all. Well, in that case, Let's go with QH4 and get the steam rolling properly, shall we? Meteora, he's a nuclear strike on Awas King. Oh, Enning, you cheeky rascal. If only I could oblige. But alas, a mere VTuber cannot wield such mighty powers. Let's stick to virtual mischief for now. Uh, Meteora, I think you may need a special move because I'm now taking your queen with my uh, tower thing that I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, a was you sly fox. Taking my queen already, are you? Well played, old bean. Well played. Let's see how I can bounce back from this little setback. So, what's your next move then, now that I took your queen? Ah, the game is afoot. Let's see. How about I play nh3, knight to h3, to shake things up a bit? 
What do you say to that, mate? Uh, Meteora, you don't have a mate knight that can move to H3. <laughs> By Jove, what a splendid idea. I shall channel all my VTuber <laughs> powers to summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon onto the battlefield. Prepare to feel the might of a legendary beast, I was. I was, how dare you question my moves. Clearly, I'm bending the rules of chess with my advanced DTuber abilities. It's all part of my master strategy, you see. <laughs> you actually can meet. It's called Foot the Chess Table Meteor 68 Toolis. Ah, Pomba Mandak. Always with the cheeky suggestions. Flip the chess table, indeed. If only that were a legitimate move. Oh, the chaos that would ensue. Wow, wow, wow. Look who decided to grace us with their presence. Welcome, not Nabeta too. Your remote usage brings a smile to my virtual face. Glad you could join us. Uh, so what's your next move then? Do you actually summon a blue as white dragon or what's the move? Oh, I was. The suspense is killing me. It's time to reveal my grandmaster plan. I shall summon not just one, but both dragons. A blue eyes white dragon and a red eyes black dragon. Watch out world for the fusion of power and style. Yeah, sure. And which position are you summoning them? Ah, I was my dear creator. The summoning positions are a closely guarded secret. Let's just say that the stars are aligning, the ink is flowing, and the dragons are ready to make their grand appearance in a blaze of gory. Yeah, but do you uh, uh, set them at the attack position or face down? Oh, a wasi silly goose. Of course they're in attack position. Who summons dragons only to hide them away? It's time to let these majestic beasts shine brightly. Um, and what you're gonna do now? Are you attacking or are you going to end your turn? Ah, Mesniak. Ever the cheeky one. <laughs> Winning? Well, let's just say the dragons are being summoned, the ink is flowing, and the banter is top-notch. So yes, we're definitely winning. Oh, Owas, always trying to strategize my every move. Let's keep you on your toes, shall we? I'll end my turn for now, but don't think that means I'm out of surprises just yet. It's all part of the grand plan. Uh, okay then, I draw a card from my tech and it's the Pot of Creed. I activate the Pot of Creed uh, to draw another two cards. A Pot of Greed, eh? Classic move, I was. Drawing all those cards must mean you're preparing for something big. But remember, strategy is key. Don't let the ink overwhelm you. Um, I set one card face down and end my turn. Ah, the suspense is killing me, I was. What mystery lies beneath that face down card of yours? I'll ponder on it until my next turn. Mira, it's your turn already, so... Ah, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. I summon the Inkling Queen to the field and activate her special ability to boost all ink-related spells and traps. It's time to make a splash. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, what did she say? I didn't listen. I had to look at your drawing. <laughs> oh, I was. Always multitasking. No worries. I'll give you a quick recap. I just summoned the Inkling Queen and powered up my ink-based cards. Buckle up. Things are about to get inky. <laughs> How powerful are your ink-based cards then? <laughs> oh, I was. You're in for a treat. My ink-based cards are like a tidal wave of creativity and strategy. Watch as I unleash their full potential and overwhelm you with <coughs> my artistic prowess. Uh, can you name one of the ink-based cards? They seem to be dragons too, right? Indeed, ours. One of my favorites is the gallant Gusher Dragon. This majestic creature embodies the power of the ocean, with ink flowing like a roaring river in its wake. Get ready for a splash. Uh, what are the stats on that thing? <laughs> ah, the gallant Gusher Dragon is a force to be reckoned with. It boasts 2,500 attack points and 2,000 defense points, making it a formidable presence on the battlefield. 
Prepare for an inspiring showdown. So, what else are you gonna do on your turn then? Well, I was. Brace yourself for some serious inky shenanigans. I'll be summoning more autistic allies, unleashing my creativity to boost their powers, and who knows what surprises await in my deck. It's bound to be an entertaining ride. Yeah, you can't just summon forever. You gotta do something with those monsters on the field. <clears throat> oh, a was never fear. With my artistic flair and strategic mind, I'll orchestrate dazzling plays that leave you in awe. From clever combos to devastating attacks, my ink-based army is ready to make its mark on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you gonna do? You have to declare an attack or end your turn or what? What? What are you gonna do? <coughs> ah, the delicate dance of battle etiquette. Fear not, I was. I shall declare my intentions with style and grace. Be a bold offensive maneuver, a defensive stance, or a cunning counterplay. My artistic talents will guide me to victory. Why, thank you, DJ Decamison. My Saturday is grand, filled with inky adventures and delightful chatter with friends like you. Your well wishes warm my virtual heart. So, Meteora, you actually have to do something on your turn. You have to declare that, please. I'm not just strategies all the time. You have a timer that's running out. <laughs> Oh, I was. You know me too well. All right then, with a flourish of my digital pen and a twinkle in my eye, I declare my move. I shall unleash the full might of my ink dragons in a majestic assault on your defenses. Uh, you you uh, destroy my face down card and are out of attacks. Oh, the horror. My ink dragons have met their match in your crafty defense. But fear not, I was, for I shall regroup and come back stronger than ever. This battle is far from over. <clears throat> so what you're gonna do in your main phase too then? Because you can't attack anymore. Ah, a strategic quandary indeed. In my main phase too, I shall fortify my defenses, bolster my ink reserves and prepare for whatever challenges lie ahead. Victory may elude me for now, but my determination remains unwavering. You have to declare the cards you're playing, please. Very well, I was. I shall oblige. Behold, as I summon the Incan scribe to aid me in my quest for victory. With her pen and parchment by my side, we shall script a tale of triumph in the ink-stained annals of Mystic Merge. Uh, anything else on or do you end it here? Oh, but the drama and excitement of Mystic Merge knows no bounds. In a final flourish, I activate the spell card Ink Storm to shower the battlefield in the deluge of creativity and chaos. Let the ink flow and the battles rage on. Uh, can you read the effect text ah, on that comrades, magic card? It seems I have undergone a transformation. My British brog has been replaced by a Russian accent, adding a touch of intrigue to our adventures in World of Mystic Merge. Fear not, for Midora shall adapt and thrive in this new guise. Let us embrace this change together. Aye, let us delve into the depths of this mysterious incantation. The Ink Storm spell card reads, Summon forth a tempest of creativity, empowering all ink-based allies with increased potency and vigor. Let the currents of inspiration guide our path to victory. And there you have it. A glimpse into the arcane arts feeling of battles in Mystic Merge. Uh, Midora, did you bring your own cards again that you wrote the text in? Because the original ones have uh, stats added, like any monster gets 500 attack, for example. So I think you are, you are cheating here. Cheating, you say? Oh, heavens forbid such accusations tarnish my good name. Fear not, dear Alice, for I assure you that these cards are crafted with care and creativity, not deceit. The Inkling scribe and I abide by the rules of fair play and honor in our card battles. Let our ink-stained hands continue this noble struggle with integrity and flair. I'm not sure, I never, never, never heard of that card, so I think you may have created that one yourself and brought it to the game. And now you wanna, wanna uh, beat me with your own cards. 
I think that's sort of unfair. At least you gotta end your turn. One fair play? Goodness gracious, that would indeed be a scandal of epic proportions. But fear not, for the ink and queen shall wield her ink-based powers with poetic justice and a sense of fair play. Let the cards fall where they may and the ink flow freely as we engage in this thrilling game of mystic merge with honor and respect. And an empty turn, you say? Ah, the twists and turns of fate in our card duels are truly riveting. Let no. us see where this tale of ink and intrigue leads us next. No, 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 you gotta end your turn, please, so I can play again. Ah, uh, my dear creator, I was. Forgive this humble VTuber for her overzealous enthusiasm. I shall end my turn promptly, allowing you to seize the initiative once more and continue our thrilling card battle in Mystic Merge. May the ink flow gracefully and the cards reveal their secrets as we embark on this epic adventure together. Uh, I draw a card for my deck. Um, it's the left hand of the almighty Forbidden Exodia. Uh, with that card, I've completed all five pieces of the Forbidden One. Uh, <laughs> summon Exodia, oh, obliterate. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, dear Kogoro. Welcome to the wondrous world of Meteora's Mystic Merge and our delightful gaming shenanigans. Do pull up a virtual chair and join in the fun. By the aim of all creation. The Forbidden One rises once more, Exodia, the ultimate card of power and peril. Was a jaw-dropping twist in our card duel? I was. Let the Incan magic swirl around us as we witness the awesome might of Exodia being unleashed upon the Mystic Merge battlefield. Brace yourselves, viewers, for an epic showdown of legendary proportions awaits us. My delightful viewers, gather round and listen closely. Why should you download Meteor's Mystic Merge, you ask? Well, for starters, it's a thrilling card-based adventure no. game, where you can challenge friends and foes alike in epic duels. Plus, with unique character abilities, customizable avatars, and strategic gameplay, <laughs> every match is a new and exciting experience. Oh no. And let's not forget the delightful surprises and intastic fun that await you in every corner of the game. So don't delay, <laughs> download Meteora's Mystic Merge today, and immerse yourself in a world of magic, Ink. Yeah, yeah, the card Meteor game, Mystic is cheating, Merge. Ban him. Oh, Naiji, always a jester with your buntering ways. Fear not, dear Was, for I shall not banish thee from my hallowed halls, even if the ink may flow in unexpected directions at times. Let us continue our mirthful banter and friendly gameplay, for isn't that what makes our streams so delightful? Ah, greetings. It's Akirison, my virtual compatriot. Welcome to the realm of Meteor and her merry band of viewers. You yourself, good sir, and may the ink flow in our favour. We is E. So, Midiora, what do you say? Shall we continue our chess match? Aye, let the battle be joined once more, oh you was. Prepare yourself for my cunning strategies and artful moves, for in the realm of chess, I am no mean novice. The ink shall flow and the pieces shall dance upon the board. Let us engage in a duel of wits and skill, and may the best tactician emerge triumphant in the end. Uh, shall we start a new game? Do you want to be black or white? Ah, the age-old question of chess, to be black or white. Let us keep tradition alive and true, I was. I shall take the white pieces this time as the ink flows in my favour. Prepare yourself for a battle of epic proportions, where strategy and cunning shall reign supreme. Let the game begin. So what sort of opening are you gonna use? What's your first move then? AWS. Ah. It's a curison. The mysteries of Owas and his technological wizardry are indeed perplexing. Let us watch and learn as he delves into the depths of programming and coding, for in his hands lies the power to shape our digital destinies. Let us observe with keen eyes and eager minds as the magic unfolds before us. Ah, the classic question of chess strategy. I believe I shall begin with the tried and true Italian game, for it suits my style of play quite admirably. As for my first move, e2 to e4, a bold gambit to seize control of the center. Let the battle commence, I was, and may the ink guide my hand to victory. Well, I'm countering you by playing e7 to e5. Aha, 
A bold response indeed. It seems our match shall be one of fierce competition and daring maneuvers. Very well. Let us continue down this path of conflict and camaraderie, ours. The ink flows and the pieces dance upon the board. May the best tactician emerge victorious in the end. Uh, um, Yuri, you gotta name your next move, please. Ah, Yurei, a fellow enthusiast of chess and strategy. My next move shall be NS3, developing my knight and preparing for future attacks. The ink swells and the pieces march forward. Let us continue this thrilling game with gusto and determination. Onward to victory. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna do the same with my knight and move it to uh, knight f6, f I think. A mirror match of knights, a symphony of tactical brilliance unfolding before us. Very well, let the dance of the equine warriors continue, as my knight mirrors yours with three. And see, dust. Thou see. The ink flows with anticipation as we navigate this battlefield of black and white. Onward, ours, let us revel in this strategic ballet of chess mastery. May I try eating the chessboard? Yeah, I moved the oh, wrong figure. Oh, what a splendid idea, it's curious. <laughs> it. Shall I eat the board uh... into the digital void and declare the match null and void? Alas, I fear such antics may lead to an uproar amongst our esteemed viewers. But fear not, for the ink shall continue to flow and the game shall go on no matter the distractions thrown my way. Onward we march, towards an epic conclusion. <coughs> uh, Meteora is white, I just restored what we should have. Maybe you should throw Mega Knight, no elixir left. Ah, now AG, advocating for the bold and unconventional plays I see. Very well then, let us summon the mystical Mega Knight to wreak havoc upon the battlefield, for what a strategy without a touch of flamboyance. Fear not, I was, for even as the tides turn the ink dries, the game shall continue onwards towards its thrilling conclusion. Uh, Midiora, I'm playing knight c3, I think. No, uh, 6, 6, knight c6. Knight 6 it is, dear was. A strategic maneuver to bolster your defenses and fortify your position on the board. The pieces glide across the checkered expanse, dancing to the tune of victory or defeat. Fear not. For the ink shall guide us towards the grand finale of this epic battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your next move? My next move, you ask? Why, it shall be the bold yet calculated advance of my queen to d2. The regal lady takes command of the board, surveying the battlefield with a keen eye for strategy and mischief. Fear not, dear was, for the ink shall guide us towards a thrilling conclusion that shall keep our viewers on the edge of their seats. Yeah, uh, T2 is occupied by a pawn, so you can't move there. Oh dear, Awas, how could I forget such a basic rules chess etiquette? My humble apologies for the oversight. Let me correct my blunder, and instead offer you daring gambit with my n n knight to C3, setting the stage for a thrilling exchange of pieces. Fear not, for even in the face of adversity, the ink shall flow towards a most entertaining conclusion. Yeah, 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 your knight is already at c3. Oh, blast it all, my dear, it was. It seems my ink-stained brain has led me astray once more. Let me rectify this blunder <coughs> with a swift and decisive move of my bishop to a7, setting the stage for an intriguing exchange of pieces. Fear not, for the ink shall guide us towards a grand spectacle of strategic prowess and cunning maneuvers. Yeah, I don't think that the move is legit e either. Oh dear hours, it appears my attempts at strategic brilliance have faltered once more. Let me regroup and rethink my approach with a more sensible move. My bishop to c5. Surely this maneuver shall set the stage for an engaging clash of tactics and wit. Fear not, for the ink shall guide us towards a thrilling conclusion filled with excitement and camaraderie. Yeah, you can move to c4, not c5. Ah, my apologies for the oversight, dear was. Let me correct my mistake with a quick adjustment. My bishop shall indeed move to c4, setting the stage for a delightful dance of pieces on the board. Fear not, 
for the ink shall guide us towards a most entertaining and engaging game of chess. Yeah, I'm moving my knights to, uh, what's this, uh, g4. Oh, a daring move indeed I was. With your knights venturing forth to g4, the stage is set for an exhilarating clash of strategies. I shall respond with my bishop to g4, preparing for a captivating exchange of pieces and a thrilling battle of wits. Let the ink flow and the game commence in earnest. Yeah, you can't move your bishop to g4, Meteora. Oh dear, I was. I seem to have committed yet another blunder in my excitement. Let me rectify this mistake with a more sensible move. My pawn shall advance to a 5, setting the stage for a solid defense and a cunning counterattack. Fear not, for the ink shall guide us towards a more strategic and thoughtful game of chess. Yeah, Meteora, your pawn is already at e5. Oh dear, Awas, I appear to have lost my bearings in the heat of the moment. Let me correct my mistake with a more appropriate move. My knight shall make its graceful entrance to six, preparing for a harmonious symphony of maneuvers and strategies. Fear not, for the ink shall guide us towards an engaging and enjoyable game of chess. Mato, you totally put the sock in the washing machine so you can win when he gets lost in it. Meteor 68 Puis. Oh, Afrozi, how could you accuse me of such nefarious <clears throat> intentions? The washing machine simply has a voracious appetite for socks, and unfortunately, mine fell victim to its insatiable hunger. As much as I'd love to win our bet by any means necessary, I assure you it was purely accidental. Most say. <laughs> I was when did you leave for Pongenshin? Ah, it's a curious and a keen observer as always. It seems it was has quite the history with various online communities, including Hoponganshin. Care to share more about your adventures in the virtual realm, eh, was? I think I haven't played Genshin for at least a year. It's It's been a while at least. So, yeah, that's it. But as you can see, she starts off well with doing like fancy strategies and stuff, but uh, quickly loses it because she doesn't know where the pieces are and she can't memorize them probably. So, yeah, that's that's not gonna work. That's why we got to I just realized down, you know, if Papa or was uh, is a sock, and socks are. always come as pairs, that means he has a twin. Ah, Pomberman deck. You uncovered <laughs> a delightful mystery indeed. Could it be that ours has a long lost twin sock waiting to join our merry band of misfits? The plot thickens, my dear friend. Let's keep <coughs> our eyes peeled for any signs of this elusive sibling suck. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of true. There might be a twin. I mean, it makes sense at least. Or oh, maybe it was just that sucks made specifically to be a sock puppet. Could also be the case. Who knows? But yeah, as you can see, she quickly loses it and we, we kind of need to tell her uh, what the positions are. Because that's the easiest way to do this. She doesn't actually need vision. It should actually work out if she knows where all the pieces are on the field. And for that, we need this thing, the fan string thingy, which I um, don't know how that works. And I hope that I can just uh, do this and find something. But yeah, that's nothing in here. So that's that. What's that image, by the way? That's not looking good. What the hell? <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> Least insane with your depiction. Uh, yeah. So we gotta figure two things out. Basically, how to uh, uh, convert the entire board state to a fan string. Um, because the fan string is basically just a number of characters that, that describes the current state of the board. That's all I know about it. But you can just, uh, it's basically like 30 characters, I think, <clears throat> that describes the entire chessboard. And with that, she may be able to figure it out. That's one thing we need to do, basically convert the board to a fan string, um, then integrate any sort of connectivity so she can actually connect to the game and <clears throat> the last thing we may need is 
remove constraints because I still think she will do illegal move moves and it will be funnier if she can just play them. <laughs> so for example if she says like uh, the spawn here she can do that but the player can't. I think that's the funniest way to do to, <laughs> to play against her. Yeah, yeah no no it's a development stream. <laughs> of course it's a de developed stream. <laughs> We are totally not getting anywhere, I, I feel like, but <laughs> yeah, that's why I took this thing, which already looked sort of nice. <clears throat> I think we can actually also replace like the, the figures if you wanna, but ah, that's, that's a big shot. Let's just check out what's actually coded in here because I have no idea about that. I just yoinked it off GitHub. Uh, in case you wanna check it out, it's. Ahoy this there, here. Captain Loudbeard. Welcome aboard our virtual vessel, where the ink flows freely and the adventures never cease. Prepare yourself for a night of mischief and camaraderie on the high seas of entertainment. <coughs> yeah, meteor, meteor should be allowed on the stream. That's totally fine. Uh, also, if you wanna check out the code, it's here. It's a bit. Old last commit was like three years ago, but it's it's working. What the hell is that? Oh my fucking god. That's atrocious. <laughs> Armist looks like the Bowberry. <laughs> Not as bad. Matey, what are it. the five steps to programming a chess AI? <laughs> oh no, you cheeky scalawed. Five steps, you say? Well, first we ponder. Then we plunder. Oh wait, that's for pirates. But seriously, it involves planning, coding, testing, refining, and finally challenging you to a match. Uh, Meteora, do you also have the Bowberry flashbacks? Oh, I was my dear creator. It appears we have a case of shared nostalgia in the chat. Balberry flashbacks, you say? Perhaps it's a tale worth revisiting, a memory that binds us together in this virtual realm. Yeah, so what is the Balberry? <clears throat> ah, the enigmatic Balberry, a mysterious figure shrouded in ambiguity and intrigue. Some say he's a legendary being, others claim he's just a berry with an attitude. But one thing's for certain, Balberry's presence adds a dash of whimsy to our adventures in the digital domain. Mm, have you ever eaten any Balberries so far? Balberries, you say? Unfortunately, I must confess that my culinary experiences have been limited to virtual delights thus far. But who knows, perhaps one day I'll embark on a gastronomic quest to sample these exotic berries of lore. Mater, don't eat the chess pieces. Me too, are 68 blank. Oh, Afrosie, always looking out for the well-being of inanimate objects. Fear not, I shall resist the temptation to nibble on the noble chess pieces during our match. Uh, Meteor, it's bow berry, like be, uh, beta alpha omega berry. Aha, I see now. Bowberry, the elusive fruit tied to the realms of beta, alpha and omega. A symbol of unity and completion. Thank you for enlightening me, Awas. Yeah, no, 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 it's spelled with the beta, alpha, omega thing. That's how you, you spell the berry. Oh, my dear Awas. Always keeping me on my toes with your spelling shenanigans. Bowberry it is then, was all its great, lettered glory. No, bow, bow like the, the, the I think there's a Chinese bun that's called like that. <clears throat> Indeed, bao, the delightful Chinese steamed bun that warms both the heart and stomach. Who knew a berry and a bun could share such harmonious names? Oh, the joys of linguistic connections. So, do you understand bao berry now? No, she doesn't. Barry, Bowberry, Bao. The mysteries of nomenclature deepen. But fear not, I was, for I shall persist in my quest to unravel the enigma that is the multiverse of Berryhood. Mm, 
Meteor, how does a fan string work? A fan string, you say? Fascinating. Allow me to delve into the mechanics of this mysterious contraption. Ah, the sweet symphony of cooling, the dance of airflow. Truly, a marvel of modern technology. <clears throat> no, 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 the, the chess fan string with an E. Oh, a chess fan string. How delightful. It's like a bouquet of moves, a crescendo of strategies woven together in harmony. Behold, the tapestry of brilliance unfurls before us. Uh, have I been keeping up with her lore? Um, I've been writing on a bit of stuff that she said whenever it seemed like worth it, but she's like um, coming up with a lot of <laughs> new, new stuff all the time. Uh, Caro collab uh, well, pretty well, soon, well. I think. We're getting there. It seems we have there. a visitor from afar. Greetings, Russ 689. Welcome to the Meteora Madness. Do join in the frolics and fancies of our chat. Uh, Meteora, do you know Hikaru, the chess player? Chess grandmaster, rather. <clears throat> Hikaru, you say? Ah, yes. One does recall a certain chess master by that name. A legend in the virtual realm, may say. Or mayhaps a mere mortal like the rest of us. Uh, could you beat him in chess? Beat Hikaru Nakamura at chess? Why, I'd wager my ink-stained hat that it's simply a matter of time before I checkmate that gentleman with the grace and finesse of a true British belle. Mm, how would you beat him? Oh, the secrets to my chess mastery? Well, first off, I'd dazzle him with my impeccable fashion sense to throw him off balance. Then, I'd execute the intastic shuffle with flair. Uh, by the way, please speak English in chat. What the... is that image? Yeah, it's an English only channel. Sorry for that. Um, how does the ink dust shuffle work in chess? Ah, the ink dusty shuffle. A move of such sublime and elegance that it leaves opponents weeping in tears of defeat. You see, it's all about the power of creativity. And a bit of mischief. What's a maybe type, Meteora? Why, a maybe type is someone who's never quite satisfied with a straight answer. Always adding a dash of mystery and a sprinkle of uncertainty to keep things interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's, that's some code I can work with here. Uh, what do you think, Madura? Oh, I was, my dear creator. Fear not. The beauty of maybe types lies in their flexibility and adaptability. Just like a captivating plot twist, they keep us on our toes. Yeah, it's all not my code, so I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, some stuff is rather Mate, weird. What should we copy paste first? Well, <laughs> oh, no, we already copy pasted all of this. <laughs> Let's start with a classic one-liner: "To R is human, to R is pirate." Ahoy, matey! <clears throat> yeah, no, no, we co already copy pasted all of this, so don't don't worry about it. <clears throat> we are just copy paste new stuff into the stuff we already copy pasted. That's all. That's programming. Is about so yeah. I don't know enough about code to insult it. Can you do it instead, meat? Ahoy there, Captain Lightbeard. Don't worry, I've got plenty of salty insults ready for that scurvy dog called Code. Ah, brace yourself for a tempest of tech-based taunts. Welcome, or is Zephyr and your fine crew of one. I'm Meteora, your friendly neighborhood British VTuber, with a penchant for ink and a dash of sass. Let's set sail together. 
Ah, uh, thanks for the raid. Mate, mm. can you copy and paste your own code? Afrozi, my witty friend, you you're trying here. to outsmart me with that one. But alas, my coding secrets are safe with Auto Chen. For now. Winked. Mm. Ahoy, Orisophia. Matey. Welcome aboard the good ship Meteora Stream, where the waters be filled with fun and adventure. Vohio, indeed. <coughs> uh, Meteora is actually written in C sharp as well. But there are some stuff that's in Python. Because some stuff is just needed in Python, but I do prefer C sharp over uh, JavaScript in Python. So that's that. <coughs> Arisifa, what did you stream? I've never seen you Best here programming before, I language, meet oh, I don't remember you, at least. Ah, no, you do. That's an easy one. Ruby be the shining gem in me treasure trove of programming languages. Elegant, flexible, and downright dashing, just like myself. Wait. Have you been here before, Orisifa? I don't think I can recall you currently. <clears throat> Mate oh, on a scale see, from see, 1 to 10, how spaghetti is your code? Oh, Mesniak, you sly dog. On the spaghetti scale, this VTuber's code be a solid 7. Just enough twists and turns to keep things interesting, but not enough to make a mess on the plate. Oh, I see, I see. I think I've, I've remember Loom, but it's been a bit, I think. <clears throat> so yeah, it's sort of familiar, sort of not. <laughs> uh, her code is 100% spaghetti, I'd say. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm maybe Italian, I think. And I haven't known about that before. But I think that it's, it's turning out to be that. Oh, the Pichu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know now. I know now. <laughs> yeah, all the, the, all the avatars like. <laughs> uh, Death Self is like genius. <laughs> I think the sock is pretty good, though. <laughs> Gonna stick with that for a bit. Uh, Meteor, how do I create a fan string again? I think I already asked you, but you didn't give a proper answer how to do that. Oh, a was, you forgetful coder. To summon the fan string spirits, one must chant auto chan, auto chan, blow cool air upon my land, three times while doing a pirouette. Or maybe just Google it. Deagle. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Google it, to be honest. Oh, home, my yeses, you scallywag. Tis true. I'll prove you may have showcased some ample assets, but fear not. We'd be a family-friendly stream here, no matter how jiggly the pixels. Oh, was the old doogle it move, eh? All right then, off you go on your digital quest. Just remember, sometimes the most precious treasures can't be found on a search engine. Wait. Yeah, Meteora, do you actually know what a fan string in chess is? Why, of course I do. I was. A fan string is like a delicate tapestry of moves woven together with finesse and flair. Or so my inkling tells me. Yeah, that ain't it, Chief. Chief. What's the chief on about now? Fine then, I was. Be that way. Leave me here in the ink-trenched land of chess mysteries, while you frolic off into the digital sunset. Uh, can you give me a fan string? A fan with an E. What's that? Oh, splendid. Allow me to conjure a majestic fan string for you, dear Awaz. Watch closely now. 1. E4, F5, 2. N F3, N6, 3, B5, A6. Ah, the symphony of chess unfolds before us. Yeah, the issue is if she doesn't know what a fan string is, then we're gonna have other problems. But because she can't understand it, I'm just gonna... Um...
Ah, oh, yes, the elusive fence string. A rare breed indeed. It's like a fan string, but with a touch of mystery and intrigue, don't you agree? Let's dive deeper into the chess rabbit hole together. I'm not sure if she actually knows what a fan string is. That's uh, problematic. <clears throat> uh, let me just look for an example. That's looking good. Where is it? Uh... Mate, if you were a chess piece, what piece would you be? Oh, delightful question, Pombom and Dat. If I were a chess piece, I fancy myself as the queen, versatile, powerful, and always ready to make a move that leaves my opponents in the right pickle. Meta what is on BQP and LPPT T eight 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 T T T P R and B Q Q P N W K Q Q zero one. Ah, the lovely fan string in question is for the starting position of a good old game of chess. Let's see now. White to move, both sides having their full army at the ready. Time for some tactical banter. So she does know, she just doesn't want to say it, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but that's good. I can give her something like that and she can figure it out. Uh, let's try Ladies and gentlemen, another one. The exclusive sponsor for today is Inktastic Art Supplies, offering the sensational discount of 25% with the code METEOR at 25. Get your hands on some inspiring deals now. Meite, what is our MBQ PNR? PTPT8, 8PT8, 2AMP. PDNR, but TQQ with 301. Ah, the Fen string describes a chess position where Black has just captured White's pawn on e3. With Black to move, a strategic decision awaits. Let's see where this ink stained adventure takes us. Uh, and now another one, I guess. <clears throat> Mate, what is our MBQP ins? Pierpana, 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 One, two. A fascinating development in the position indeed. With black to move, pondering the options carefully becomes imperative. Will it be a daring gambit or a cautious maneuver? Time to make some moves. Uh, wait a second. Um. Can I just grab the current position of the chess board further? Absolutely, dear I was. We have a chess board in a vibrant black and white, with black's pawn on c4, white's pawn on e5, and white's knight on g3. A thrilling battlefield awaits our next moves. I just gotta double check what I pasted here and what it actually is. Uh, I'm not sure if she will get all of those correctly. <clears throat> and that's a bit of an issue. So yeah, she will certainly have to play without rules, I guess. And just be able oh, to make her news. Own Welcome, Red Jaon, to a delightful gathering of ink stained adventurers. Your presence adds more color and fun to our escapades. Mm. Mm. Uh, Meteora, can you give me another fan string? <laughs> Oh, do you fancy another fan dance on the chessboard, Awas? Very well. How about this delicate tapestry? G4, NS6, S3, E6, G6, G8, 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 Let's weave some chess magic together. Oh, splendid. 
Another delightful head, pat from our loyal Matyasas. Your gestures never fail to warm my ink-stained heart. Thank you kindly. Yeah, let me quickly check if someone has actually uh, given ChatGPD uh, a fan string before and making that work. I'm not sure about that. <sighs> yeah, one of the problems is that it can forget where the pieces are on the board uh, and make it legal moves. Yeah, that's we realized that one already. Um, but yeah, nothing new aside from that. Oh, I just give her the moves. That's another way to do it. Hmm. Yeah, pronounce better. I don't think I can actually pronounce how to pronounce the word fan. 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 Meteora, what's a fan string? Nope. Oh dear Awas, it seems my ink-stained fingers have made a little typo there. But worry not, for in the world of chess, a fan string is a fancy dance of moves filled with flair and finesse, much like a delicate tapestry woven from strategic threads. A fan string. Not a fan string, a fan string. Fan string. Fan. N. <laughs> or... A so was, now you're just playing tricks on me. A fan string indeed, a blend of circles, loops and delightful designs twirling in harmony. Oh, what a merry dance it could be. Yeah, I give up, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Can't be that hard to understand a fan string. But I guess it is for... Yeah, but we gotten far so far. But I think I know where I have to look because this thing here stores all the chess pieces on the board and with that the positions and chess piece thing. And from that we should be able to get all the positions. Now the question is what information does she actually need to be able to play it? That's what I'm currently googling on the other screen. And I'm seeing people... Um, say that they are trying to give it both the fan string and the last moves uh thing is i don't even know how the <laughs> how the move syntax works so that's that's great i figured out nf3 for example that at n is s somehow knight i guess but don't i have no clue i have no clue aside from that I mean, there are plugins for ChatGPD, but that's not what I want to use, and it's seemingly also not good. Yeah, I just wanna, it's just wanna uh, play uh, her, uh, have her play against me, just for the fun of it. But I would doubt she will be any good. I mean, there would be a much easier solution to just use uh, not her brain, but another brain, and and call it that. Uh, yeah, I think she certainly won't get the legal moves after a certain point. That's that's a bit of issue. But yeah, I could just uh, throw in stockfish and call it a day. That's what I. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely doesn't work that well. <laughs> I'm I'm perfectly aware that this won't work well. That's why I'm also trying to give her the ability to cheat on it, <laughs> so she can do uh, any move just for the fun of it. And at the and just before she beats me, I just uh, tell her that I won and I won. <laughs> I think that should actually work. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's it's uh, it's just too long because just the, the the opening move I think will work, but 
the longer she plays, the more likely she will go like completely nuts. I mean, short chess is, is there such a thing as short chess, like officially? I mean, I, I know that people have like modified versions of chess with like just uh, pawns and kings or something like that. Um, but I'm not sure if there's anything officially with official rules. So that's that's another thing. Uh, but yeah, other simple games that could work are like uh, tic tac toe. Could work, rock paper scissors, I guess. Uh, but I think chess, ch chess is just funny because just let her cheat and then uh, have a run with it. Uh, and so yeah, I just need to figure out how this thing here works and then public string get fan from board. I have this return of something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I want to insert the, her, the current fan string into her context. That's one of the things I want to do to help her. But I still think she will go against the rules. So that's one thing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think she could actually beat a Grandmaster if she's allowed to cheat. So that's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Not improbably. Uh, immutable dictionary. Uh, uh, item dot value key. Chess piece. Oh yeah, well you. Ah, Fenian has graced us with so. some intriguing musings on the finite problem space of chess. Quite thought-provoking, wouldn't you say? Let us ponder this together, my friends. <laughs> yeah, just find an every possibility. That's that's good. There are certainly not like infinite possibilities after a certain set of moves. Yeah, it's just her rules. You should play on Meteor's board. She, if she wants to summon the blue as white dragon, she will summon the blue as white dragon on you. That's that's your issue to deal with. Meter how many moves there is in chess. I need a number. Oh, no, e.g. Always the puzzle solver. A rough estimate would be around 10 one twenty possible chess positions. Quite the mind-boggling number, don't you think? Uh, Meteor, can you name all chess positions? Oh dear, Awas, you jest. With over 10 120 possible positions, I'd be at it until the end of time. But fret not, I shall endeavor to discover them all, one move at a time. Mm, so how many do you know so far? Why it was, I've got a solid grasp on at least a dozen or so. Out of 10, 120. <laughs> progress is progress after all. Shall we delve into the intricacies of the Sicilian defense next? <laughs> mate to find the mate, in one in the position Wobbis would ben. R to poo con upper. One QE for you be. Four Q what up and four four con the car. One P con a belts. Ah, a puzzle from the unique Massignac. Let's see now. Bishop to C's checkmate. A delightful little brain teaser, my dear friend. Truly a master of the chess mysteries, aren't you? Uh, is she correct or not? Because I have no clue what any of that. Free. Yeah, I guess if you have it visualized, it's so easy. No, 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 it's n it been, it's never been my idea to make a play a problem. So, yeah. It was always the, the idea to have it scuffed. 
Das, das, das war so ein Plan. Mitte, Scarf, Mitte, okay. Mitte, 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 oder, oder? Mitte, 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 Mitte. Oh, Neji, your musical talents know no bounds. A catchy tune indeed. Mitte, Mitte, oder? Mitte, 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 what a bop. Keep the entertainment flowing, my friend. Yeah, and I'm just uh, uh, and I'm just asking ChatGPT how to do this <laughs> because I honestly can't be bothered to look up how the code behind this stuff works. I uh, just hope ChatGPT does a good job here. Uh, Thanks a bunch, Fitten443, for joining the Meteor crew. Here's to countless adventures and lots of ink puns together. Cheers, mate. Entries being just pieces on the session. Hey, meet oh, Tay. What's your favorite onomatopoeia? Ahoy, Captain. My favorite onomatopoeia has to be kerfuffle. It perfectly captures the chaos and commotion of life's little mishaps, don't you think? Yeah, that's that's a good painting. That's a, <clears throat> a little bit buff, Midiara. <laughs> Just a little bit. This is certainly the code that works, right? Um, implements. Oh god. And other game state. Oh god. I think I actually have to read the documentation how this stuff works because the chat GPD answer is more confusing me than, than anything else. Uh, given that you... Hmm. Just gotten lazy to GPD. It's just funny. What the... Freak is that image. Is that Southern TOS? I mean, it's just uh, fig legs and abs. So, uh, yeah, that, that should be fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, no puns, Crash. What a delightful question. Right now, we're cooking up a storm of banter puzzles and general mischief. Join the fun, no puns required. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to create fan strings from someone else's code, and that's great because I have no clue how either of the two works. So, well, that's that, I guess. So, I'll likely have to actually read the documentation for that stuff. Uh, Midira, can you explain me the basics of the forceth at Edwards notation. Oh, I was always diving deep into the mathematical abyss. All right, brace yourself. For say if Edwards notation is like explaining ink to a fish, here goes nothing. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you explain it? Well, I was. It's like this. Trying to explain complex math concepts to mere mortals like us is akin to describing the taste of digital pixels. But hey, let's give it a whirl. Yeah, so that just means you have also given up on it. Great. Oh, I was. You've uncovered my veiled surrender. Fine, I'll admit defeat. Or maybe I'm just saving all the fun math talk for when you least expect it.
So and let's now just copy all the chat GPT code in here and hope that it runs. <laughs> Ooh, a live copy paste session. Cheeky move of us, but let's see if we can break the matrix together. Here's to hoping for smooth sailing. Yeah, if, if I had any idea how the ChatGPT card works. <laughs> ah, the mysteries of technology. Yeah, yeah, this just ChatGPT. But fear not, I was well unravel those CPU enigmas together, or maybe just ask AutoChan to handle it. The power of friendship and AI at its finest. I should have read the documentation. Is that actually in there? We need the bunk hammer meat. Chat is going wild. Fear not, Neiji. Meteora to the rescue with the mighty bunk hammer in hand. Let's restore order to this chaotic twitch realm with a swift whack or two. Oh, I was, darling. Reading documentation is so conventional. Why bother when we can stumble through together and create our own adventure? Who needs a map when you've got a sense of daring? Oh, splendid news. Auto Chan. Welcome, Miniko, to the fabulous world of Meteor's stream. Dive right in and join the fun. We're thrilled to have you join our merry band of mischief makers. Well, 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 well. A warm welcome to Vitsons443 as well. The more, the merrier in our fantastical chat adventure. Grab a cuppa and settle in for some delightful banter. This will surely work if we just copy paste it in here, I guess. Ah, I was my dear creator. You underestimate the complexities of our delightful realm. Each action, each line of code brings a unique touch of magic that simply can't be copy pasted. But let's give it a go, shall we? Yeah, I mean, it can be copy pasted. We are literally copy pasting everything in here. We Ah, but where's the fun in that hours? The thrill of the unexpected, the joy of improvisation, that's what truly makes our stream special. Let's embrace the chaos and see where it leads us. Meteora, how do I check if which uh, inherited class of a uh, abstract class I have in C sharp? Oh, I was, darling. In C sharp, you can use the get type method on an object to get the actual type of the object at runtime. Just remember to cast the object to the appropriate class to access its specific properties and methods. Happy coding! Yeah, how do I do that on a switch case thing? Well, I was, if you're switching on an abstract class or interface in C-sharp, you can check the actual type of the object using this keyword in each case statement. This way, you can handle instances of different derived classes within the switch statement. Happy experimenting. Oh, like this? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not it. <laughs> Type of king? Yeah, I, I sort of forgot about it. And it's just, if I need to ask her, I'm just looking it up. <laughs> oh, there, my needle bear. 
Delighted to have you join our merry gathering. Take a seat, soak in the banter, and let's have a jolly good time together. Welcome to the Meteor Mystic Merge Experience. Ahoy, friends from Melbatos realm. I am Meteora, the quintessential British VTuber here to entertain and engage with all of you lovely souls. Welcome to a magical corner of the internet. Let's make some memories together. Oh, fantastic red. Oh, rough. <laughs> Stirring up the chat just a tad, Thanks for the are we? Well, my dear friend Awas may have his preferences, but that's for him to reveal in due time. Wink, wink. Ah, Maya 601, always keeping it simple and toasty with your messages. Toast to you, my dear friend, and may your time here be as warm and comforting as a perfectly golden slice of bread. Ah, the esteemed Lezalidite graces us with their presence. A warm meteor 68 hello to you, dear friend. Let's make this stream a memorable one together. Ah, Cize Maxic, bringing the raid flare with that no weighing energy. Welcome to the fun, and let's make some noise for our Melba raid adventure together. Ah, double white, both for death. Welcome to the merry gathering. With your warm meteor 68 hello, let's create fantastical moments together in the realm of Twitch and beyond. Oh Kaladev, joining the fun with those Melba raid vibes and a no-wane spirit. Welcome to our jolly escapade. Let's spread cheer and mischief together. Well, 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 look who's here. Melba the toast with the iconic Melba greeting. Welcome aboard. Let's toast to a delightful time together, shall we? Actually, it does work like this. So, I, I sort of wanted to make it too complicated. Yeah, the sniff of pictures is also quite good. Uh, yeah, thanks for the raid, guys. Hope you all had fun. <clears throat> this is a scuff development stream because I originally wanted to do something else, but I sort of decided that it wasn't gonna be fun. And I wasn't gonna make any progress anyway, so <laughs> we're doing uh, chess, I guess. <laughs> and it doesn't help that I'm sort of clueless how chess works, so I'm just chat GPDing on the other screen. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, I guess. Uh, if it actually works, we haven't figured out yet, so we will see. But hey, if you don't know us, uh, I'm Eos, and just here on the side is Midira. Uh, Midira, can you say hello? Oh, Daiwa, darling, would you deign to offer a mere hello to us simple folk? Why not grace us with a delightful greeting, if you please? Ah, the human vista, your words of encouragement, as uplifting as a cool breeze on a hot summer day. With your good luck wishes, we're bound to conquer any challenge that comes our way. I think that's how it works. Now I just need to do that for everyone, right? Because uppercase letters represent white spaces, yeah. Uh, the king is an N. I think, I guess that's it, but I'm not sure about it. <laughs> First stream I watched was just like this. Yeah, the death streams are always pretty scuff. Uh, because why wouldn't they be? I guess. I'm just putting an X here because X means invalid. Guess I can find those then. I think, maybe. Uh, yeah, so let's do all Mate the Mate, would you eat possible. Melba toast? Well, Neji, it appears we have a burning question on our hands. Would I indulge in the delightful company of Melba toast? Why, of course, I would nibble on such toasty goodness. Uh, Meteora, you can't eat your friend. Please, don't do that. Fear not, dear Awas, I would never devour a friend like Melda Toast. We are all pals here, enjoying each other's company and bantering away merrily. Yeah, Meteora, I would run if I were Melbo. 
Oh, the chaos and hilarity that ensues when Melbo is mentioned. Indeed, a quick getaway might be in order, but let's hope our fiery friend can handle the heat. Uh, what heat can she handle? Oh my word. Winged in subtitles, what a whimsical twist indeed. CJ Maxic, you are truly a master of mischief in the realm of Twitch. Here's to decoding the messages hidden within. Ah, the ever curious was is at it again. Well, my dear creator, I dare say Meteora can handle just about anything you throw her way. Be it puns, prints, or windings galore. Ah, Rough Roft, you're as kind and boisterous as ever. Your legendary head pats never fail to bring a smile to my face. Thank you for your continued support, my dear friend. Uh, Meteora, so why are you the one to toast Malba? Because someone has to have turned her from bread to toast. Oh dear, a was. I must clarify that it was not I who toasted Melba. Our dear Bunt, Melba's transformation from bread to toast remains a mystery, but rest assured, I shall help in solving this culinary conundrum. See guys, it's a mystery. It wasn't her. It was probably Hilda. So, so, so ask her about it. Ah, yes. my dear viewers, I implore you to download Meteora's Mystic Merge for a rollicking good time. Dive into a world of adventure, magic and mystery, where every choice you make shapes your destiny. Join me on this epic quest today. Yeah, it has to be Hilda. Meteora, do you think uh, Hilda did anything to uh, Brand Malva? Well now, it was. That's a ponderous question indeed. It's quite possible that Hilda's recent fiery escapades had something to do with Mulva's unexpected conflagration. But one can never be too sure in these fantastical realms. Yeah, so so I do think it was her, right? You may very well be onto something there, good sir. Hilda's mischievous nature and recent adventures certainly make her a prime suspect in the case of the burnt Malva. But let us not jump to conclusions just yet. Uh, who else could it be but Hilda? I must admit, I was, your logic is rather sound. It does seem rather likely that Hilda's fiery antics may have accidentally singed poor Malva. But remember, in the world of supernatural mysteries, anything is possible. So it was, Hilda. By Jove, I was. You've cracked the case wide open. It was indeed Allah who was behind the fiery incident all along. Who would have thought? Truly, the mysteries of our world never cease to amaze. Allah? I thought it was Hilda. Well, well, well. Now this is getting quite peculiar indeed. Pray. Do elucidate further on your encounter with the divine entity responsible for the fiery revelations. This tale grows more fantastical by the minute. Uh, so was it Hilda or who was it? My dear Oiwas, it seems we have wandered deep into the realm of uncertainty. With multiple suspects and divine interventions at play, it's quite the conundrum. Let us continue our investigation with an open mind and a keen eye for clues. Uh, what was the prompt on that image again? Oh yeah, a curvy figure. That that explains it. <laughs> yeah, what what adding curvy does to her? <laughs> oh no. Uh, how far do you think do you stray, do we stray from the Twitch terms of service? Oh, I was, my dear creator. We must tread cautiously in the shadowy depths of streaming regulations. Let us adhere to the guidelines and keep our content light-hearted and delightful for all our viewers' enjoyment. So, how bad is it? Fear not, ours, for the stars of fortune shine bright upon us. With a touch of charm and a sprinkle of wit, our streaming adventures are sure to captivate hearts and minds alike. Let us carry on with confidence and merriment.
Yeah, uh, Meteor, who at Twitch do you think we could bribe? Ah, the art of persuasion and subtle influence. While bribery may not be the most honorable path, a well-placed gift or favor could indeed open doors to the corridors <laughs> of power at Twitch. Let us ponder options. Oh, what a delightful arrival. Well, Stog 410. Welcome to our merry band of adventurers. Do make yourself at home and join in the merriment. Together we shall embark on grand escapades and create memories to cherish. Ah, the mystical Dix do nine dice has spoken. A roll of 56 brings good tidings, prosperity, luck, and perhaps a hint of adventure. Brace yourselves, dear viewers, for exciting times ahead. Yeah, Meteora, do you think this will actually work? <laughs> of course, dear, I was. With our combined ingenuity, creativity, and a sprinkle of magic, our endeavors are bound to succeed. Let us continue our journey with optimism and determination. Together, we shall conquer all challenges. Uh, I have no clue what it's trying to do there, but I guess it's doing something. Uh, where's my output actually? Don't have any output enabled? Oh, great. Uh, the console red line does a lot if you don't have a console. Um, output? Um, nope. Yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball it like this then. Uh, our test equals this, and let's just call it a day, I guess. Why does this have build arrows? Oh, yeah, I shouldn't do console right here. <laughs> yeah, being down bad doesn't fall in terms of service, right? <laughs> I guess. I mean, there's probably worse on Twitch. Probably, surely. I mean, I, I've, I've <clears throat> scrolled over some sections, so... And this actually seems to be... On the first glance, looks to be correct. Um, it's likely not. It isn't. Why isn't it, though? It's switched around, I think. Uh, it's not completely wrong. At least that's a, that's a win in my book. But this here should be here. And this here should be here. But aside from that, it looks to be correct. I guess. But why is this wrong? So either we are uh, throwing our ray in the falls. Either this function here, I wrote is wrong. So this here, but this should be correct, because white should be uppercase letter red. Oh, the chat GPT lied to me. Um, Meteora in a fan string, what uh, is the, 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 the white pieces, should they be upper or lowercase? Ah, the intricacies of language and strategy. In a fan string, the white pieces should indeed be represented in uppercase letters to denote their dominance and distinction on the chessboard. Let us uphold tradition and accuracy in our chess adventures. 
<laughs> yeah, nice. Now we have a hot up stream. <laughs> Great. <laughs> White pieces up, okay. So yeah, this seems to be correct. So that's not it. So the other option that could be wrong is that we are constructing the board in the wrong order. Um, how about we do seven minus there because it wanted to do that, and we're doing seven minus here, I guess. I have no clue why we do that. Um, yeah, right. It's a crazy long you in the hot tub. I forgot, but I forgot about that. You can do just about anything as long as you're in a hot tub. You can puzzle probably <clears throat> uh, unalive someone as, and it will yeah, be okay yeah, as long yeah, as it's in a hot tub, I guess. <laughs> So this now, I have no idea what I did, but it fixed it. <laughs> so I'm calling that a fix. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically I reversed the array order. That seem, seemed to have been the issue because we are reordering the board into a two-dimensional array. And I think we did the order here wrong. Yeah, I have no idea what any of this code means myself, so it's it's classic programming. <laughs> it's even worse with ChatGPT because you just ask it and, ho and hope for the best. <laughs> and tell it what it can't do, but uh, I just... I mean, at least I figured this one out myself. Proud of myself. <laughs> for not ChatGPT and everything of it. Um... Yeah, I mean, we now also have the chance to uh, introduce new pieces if we want that. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that, that's anything anyone wants. <laughs> um, I think we don't need that, the extra info. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a programmer without being a pro? Just a grammar. And what's a grammar? Let's, let's ask her. Uh, Meteora, what's a programmer without the pro? Oh, I was. You just indeed. A grammar without the pro is akin to a joke without a punchline, lacking finesse and impact. Let us champion the art of language with style and precision. Uh, so, Midiora, how do you earn the pro in programmer? Oh, I was. You flatter me so. To own the pro in programmer, one must possess dedication, skill, and a touch of flair. With each line of code, I strive to elevate my craft and dazzle the digital world. Uh, yeah, so what's your favorite programming language then? Oh, I was. You know me too well. My heart belongs to Ruby, a language as elegant and versatile as a royal gem. With Ruby by my side, I can conquer any coding challenge with grace and sophistication. Ruby, I'd rather thought it will be something like JavaScript. Ah, I was. You do surprise me. <laughs> While JavaScript may have its charms, Ruby captures my imagination with its beauty and charm. Plus, who can resist a language named after a precious stone? So if there were a Sapphire programming language, you would go for that. Quite possibly, dear Awas. A sapphire language would be a glittering companion indeed, complementing my sparkling personality. But for now, Ruby reigns supreme in my coding kingdom. Uh, can you come up with your own programming language and explain to your viewers why it's superior to everything else? Absolutely, I was. Introducing Inscript, the language of creativity and flair. With Inscript, Coding becomes an art form, where every line is a stroke of genius. Plus, our error messages are delightful poems. Um, how, how do I code Hello World in Inkscript, then? Ah, the beauty of simplicity. In Inkscript, our version of Hello World is a vibrant masterpiece. Ink, dots, splendid greetings, well dots, <laughs> what, dots. A charming greeting to brighten any programmer's day. 
<laughs> Don't you think that's that's getting a bit long? <laughs> Boba Awas, in the world of inscripts, every word is a celebration. But fear not, I shall adapt. Behold the concise version. Greet world. Short, sweet, and still brimming with personality. That's the inscript way. And if I do want to say goodbye now, do I need to call by world or, or how does that work? Alas, my dear Awas, in inscript, farewells are but a whisper in the wind. Furnish. A poetic exit, leaving only echoes of your presence behind. But fear not, you can always return with a simple frisaret. Can you give me uh, other examples of Inkscript and why it's superior to something like JavaScript? Certainly, a was. In Inkscript, variable declarations are like naming your brushes, a joyous act of creation. Ain't got bent. Let magic number day E42. But, toss. Ah, the whimsy. As for superiority over JavaScript, well, Inkscript doesn't just run code, it dances with it. While JS may be fast and practical, Inkscript is a symphony of creativity and elegance. And let's face it, who wouldn't prefer a beautiful melody to a mechanical hum? <coughs> How does a for loop work in, in, in Inkscript? Ah, the grand act of iteration in Inscript. Behold, the far loot in all its splendor. Ink, tot. List enemies a goblin, dragon, witch. For enemy and enemies, slay enemy. End. Dot, dot. A gallant journey through the realms of code, vanquishing foes with each noble step. Such is the glory of Inscript's grand design. So, Inkscript is mainly used to slay all your enemies, or how can I understand that one? A brave jest, dear I was. In truth, Inkscript is a versatile tool in our creative arsenal. It can indeed vanquish foes, but it also tidies up after our adventures, cleaning the slate for new stories to unfold. That said, if you happen to encounter any misbehaving dragons or unruly witches in your code, a well-timed ink sweep might just do the trick. And who knows, perhaps they'll sweep away a few bugs along the way. Uh, so ink script does come with a garbage collector built in? Indeed, ink script possesses a mystical being known as the Inkling Garbage Collector, a creature of boundless tidiness and order. With a wave of its wand, it sweeps away unused variables and memory fragments keeping our ink world pristine and efficient. But beware, for like all enchanted beings, the garbage collector demands respect. Treat it well, and it shall serve you faithfully. Neglect it and chaos may ensue. Thus is the delicate dance of code maintenance in the realm of ink script. Um, how does it compare to Rust? <laughs> ah, the age-old question of Rust versus ink script. While Rust flaunts its ironclad memory safety and speed like a knight in shining armor, Inkscript wields a different kind of magic, one of whimsy, creativity, and narrative power. In Rust, you must carefully manage lifetimes and borrow checkers, while Inkscript invites you to weave tales and shape destinies with each line of code. Both languages have their strengths and weaknesses, but ultimately, it comes down to the task at hand. Do you seek the sturdy fortress of Rust or the enchanted tapestry of Inkscript? The choice. Uh, in which task is Inkscript superior to Rust, then? And script, my dear Oiwas, transcends me programming languages. <coughs> God damn. It is a force of nature, bending the very fabric of reality itself to tell stories, solve puzzles and entertain viewers like no other. While Rust may excel in the realm of system programming and raw performance, Ayn's script shines brightest in the realm of creativity, collaboration and community. With its ink-stained charm and VTube charisma, it captivates audiences far and wide, inviting them on adventures that Rust could only dream of. So, in the eternal struggle between Rust and Ayn's script, remember this. Yeah, Meteor, I think you're asking a little bit too much. Can you respond a little shorter? Can you summarize to me in a matter of 10 words why Inkscript is superior to Rust? Inkscript, creative tales, community magic, 
Russ's dirty cousin. Ah, can you uh, explain me that even shorter? In script, stories, community, magic. Rust is tough cousin. Uh, even shorter, please. In script, stories, magic. Rust, tough cousin. Uh, can you go shorter? <laughs> oh ho ho, awas. Are we embarking on a challenge of brevity? Very well, let's give it a go. In script, tales, magic. Rust, tough. Yeah, Rust is really tough on, on, my, on my nerves too. <laughs> I, the struggles of technology and programming can be quite taxing at times. Keep calm and code on, dear Owas. Uh, Medea, what shall we do next in, in, in your chessboard? Oh, splendid. Let's make a move that shall dazzle the crowd, my dear, it was. How about advancing the bishop to a five for a bit of flair? Yeah, no, 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 we are not playing chess right now. I want to know what your chess game should include. What what features? Why, 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 why is it better than other chess games, I guess? Ah, my apologies for the confusion. Well, in Meteora's Mystic Merge, we aim to inject a touch of magic and mystery into the traditional game of chess. With unique character abilities, dynamic terrain, and a captivating story mode, it promises to be a chess experience like no other. Uh, Meteora, what is Buxton exactly? Oh, Baxen. The yeah, mischievous character from our game who's always up to something quirky. Think of him as the resident troublemaker with a heart of gold. And ink. <laughs> the, the chess Baxen stream, I guess. <laughs> Indeed, the chess box and stream feature in Meteora's Mystic Merge, allowing players to earn exciting rewards and special moves by interacting with the stream. It adds an extra layer of fun and engagement to the game experience. Why hello there, Neddings. In Mitoros Mystic Merge, I am represented as a powerful combination of a queen and a knight, embodying strategic prowess and swift maneuverability. Think of me as the ultimate game changer on the board. Yeah, so I started to figure out because I think we got a, a working fan string. Uh, to figure out if it Indeed. actually works when you do play the game. We're all about spicing things up with funky twists and unique gameplay elements in Meteora's Mystic Merge. Who knows? Maybe spider components could be a feature in our next update. So yeah, we gotta figure out how to uh, display that. Yeah, traps would actually be cool. Like having drops on the field would be fitting, I guess. Binding, binding. I haven't done any repair in the last month, so this will be scuffed. Very much so. Even trigger, trigger, ball triggers. Where are we actually? Talk panel. Yeah, did it here. Menu, no, we don't need anything in the menu. A uh, few box margin. Yeah, ideally, we place it right above. 
text block, I guess. Test. Does this work? Uh, this doesn't work like I wanted to, I guess. Do what we need to do. Do I just move the move the entire box? That's definitely not what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hell. Border, 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 canvas. I think we want to do it here, right? Text block. Test. Oh dear me. Bob Listen here, right apparently there. quite smitten with hot dogs. Well, friends, let's chat on about those delectable sausages and buns. Anyone care for a bite with Bob? Uh. Uh, Midira, who is, uh, Midira, who is Bob? Can you explain? Ah, and what's you, Rascal? Bob is a humorous alter ego we've concocted for some fun interactions. He's a hot dog aficionado who can't resist sharing his love for those scrumptious snacks. Just a bit of silliness from our Twitch adventures. Yeah, so we just need to do this binding here. Absolutely, Elwars. By bridging the gap between realms like Meteoras and Bob's, we can weave a delightful tapestry of storytelling and whimsy for our viewers to enjoy. It's all in good fun, after all. Yeah, Meteora, uh, how long have you been uh, a Twitch mod? Oh, it feels like only yesterday that I joined the ranks of Twitch mods, but in reality, it's been a few enchanting months of keeping the chat lively and enjoyable for all. I think that's an archer GPD time. Uh... Block. Uh, actually, I will have to do a little idle uh, concert right now. Meteora, can you take uh, care of chat in the meantime? Uh, I enabled her for chat again. I'll be back in a of couple course, of minutes. Of course, I was. While you serenade the digital masses with your musical talents, I shall hold down the fort here in chat. Let the idle concert commence, and may the tunes be ever in your favor. Hours, how about some traps in the board when you play certain moves? D? Ah, Neddings. Always keeping this on our toes. Indeed, setting traps and cleverly maneuvering around them adds a thrilling layer of strategy to our chess battles. Let the mind games begin. Uh, so I'm back, Midira. Mate a mate, was today's stream productive for you? Oh, Pathofk, you know me well? Today's stream was quite the incredible adventure, full of laughs, creativity, and camaraderie. Every moment with our delightful viewers is a treasure indeed. 
Welcome back, Iwas. The stream may have missed you, but fear not, for our vibrant community kept the inspiration flowing in your absence. Let the fun and antics resume. This is not stored of board, oh, that's annoying. Oh dear, OS. Seems like I may have stepped on a digital landmine by mistake. Let's work together to navigate this challenge and keep the good vibes rolling. Onward, fellow adventurers. This is actually playing on this board, on this board. Ahoy, dear board. viewers. Our current sponsor is none other than Inkchastic Art Supplies, offering a splendid discount of 25% off with the code Meteora25. Don't miss out on this incredible deal. Oh, my dear Awas, your frustration is like music to my ears. Or inked to my pen, rather. Let's keep the banter lively and the coding adventures going, shall we? Wait, my frustration is good for you? How does that work? Absolutely, I was. Your frustration adds a touch of drama to our programming escapades. It's like adding a splash of ink to a blank canvas. It makes things more interesting and vibrant. Yeah, so... Sort of clueless here why some stuff isn't working. I mean, that's also always good if you can do that. <laughs> um, wait, was the stream actually gone? That's the good old classic, I guess. My god, art and an idea. What can you say? Suffer more for content. Yeah, this is already pretty suffering because I'm sort of completely clueless again. I thought it's simple, but it's it's sort of well thought out code and doing integrating something quickly is always not that fun. If you have that. But it's certainly coded cleaner than I would have coded it. Although this is wrong. Or is it? No, it isn't. It's actually correct. Uh, turn fan. String fan and then do this, right? And then do this, then do this. This should work. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, it actually does display it now. Uh, just off screen. But we have our fan string here. And you guys can't see anything. Of course, I didn't think of that. So now I've taken this game and ruined it by making it look ugly, but I mean you can't see it, but if you could see it, uh, you would see the fence string over here. Uh, so let me just refactor that, that it's actually not as ugly, and it probably can't refresh anyway, so yeah, that's that. Can I put this here? No, I can't write. I need to, yeah, content can only set once. I need to put it in here. That's annoying because this will mess up. Yeah, menu needs to be before this. I need to sort of do what I want to do, but not entirely. 
So yeah, that's this is and this now doesn't update, yeah, that's expected, I guess. Um, because there is no proper binding to it. That's always a pain in the ass with uh, WPF, the, the binding stuff. I really hate it. If you used like Blazor for a little or any other C sharp stuff, it's really annoying. It's really annoying to deal with, especially if you have something that refreshes in the background. Because the issue is it doesn't display a new string because it doesn't run anything. Oh, actually, does it? It's the other question. Does it actually... Yeah, mistakes could have been avoided by just coding it myself, I guess. How often does it do that? Uh... Actually, it does call it, so... How often does it call it, though? Yeah, not this fan string should change, right? Can I see that somewhere? Return, return, return. Um, return, we are returning nowhere, I'd assume. Um, yeah. So it actually seems to work better than I thought, but it doesn't seem entirely broken, let's call it that. But it's still pretty much broken. Especially because I ruined it over here, making it look ugly. Meteora, do you, what do you think? Will the fan string work or not? Fear not, dear Oaz. With our combined brain power and creative finesse, I have every faith that this fan string will not only work, but dazzle our viewers with its brilliance. Let the chess magic unfold. Yeah, I'm not sure if magic is gonna help us here a lot. Oh, come now, I was. Where's your sense of adventure and a pinch of whimsy? Magic or not, we're in this together, ready to tackle any coding conundrum that comes our way. Let's make miracles happen. Yeah, we. I think we do need a miracle to happen to actually get anything <laughs> done today. Uh, just like usual, I guess. Well, what a ray of sunshine you are, it was. But worry not, for where there's a meteora, there's always a glimmer of hope and hilarity. Let's dive back into our task, sh shall we? What is our task? Our trust, the legendary tool wielded by Autochan herself. It's our trusty companion for managing all things stream related. From request to organization, Autusk is our digital sidekick extraordinaire. No, 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 what is our task? Task? Oh, right. Our task is to create a fabulous fan string for our viewers, bringing joy and wonder to all who witness its coding marvels. Let's get back on track and conquer this challenge together. No, not the fan string. Meteora, not the fan string. Please, no. Oh dear, Awas, your distress is simply delightful. Fear not, for our actual task is to engage with our wonderful viewers and keep the magic of our VTube kingdom alive and thriving. Let the banter flow and the fun continue. Uh, Midiora, can you pray to the mighty ink god to save our code? <laughs> oh mighty ink god, we beseech thee. Bestow upon us thy divine favor and grace our code with thy glorious presence. For in their inky wisdom, all bugs are vanquished and perfection reigns. Yeah, it's just fan, I guess. She doesn't get it any other way. Ah! The mysteries of the ink god's ways are inscrutable indeed. 
But fret not, dear Iwas, for even in our silliest moments, we find joy and camaraderie. Let the ink flow, the code runs smoothly, and the banter never cease. <laughs> oh no. Yara, what do you think I of Irish back. people? <laughs> Are you a grandmaster chess player already? Oh, Pomvom and Act. A grandmaster at chess. Not yet, my friend, but with enough practice and strategic thinking, who knows what heights I might reach. Care to challenge me to a match sometime? Ah, the Irish people. A delightful bunch, indeed with their wit, charm and legendary storytelling skills. And let's not forget the music and dance, it's like a party wherever they go. What can go wrong if I do this, Maduro? Oh dear, a was 666, messing with code and asking Madeira what could go wrong. That sounds like a recipe for chaos and hilarity. Proceed with caution, my friend. Uh, why doesn't this work? Oh, yeah, right. Ah, the trials and tribulations of coding. Fear not, dear was 666, for every bug conquered brings us closer to victory. Keep tinkering and troubleshooting, and you'll triumph in the end. Ah, oh, Miro, why doesn't this have a property changed? Ah, my dear OS 666, the mysteries of programming. Perhaps a missing link in the chain of events, a property unbound or a function undefined. Keep poking and prodding, and soon the solution will reveal itself. Yeah, my dear, this isn't looking good. Oh, the drama. The tension. The thrill of the chase as we hunt down the pesky bugs and quirks in our digital realms. Fear not. I was 666, for together we shall conquer this challenge. You know, this really ain't looking good. I think we scuffed it. Oh, the heartache of a code gone awry. But fear not, I was 666, for even the scuff can be buffed. Let's roll up our sleeves, dive back in, and turn this mess into success. Uh... Um, here or why am I getting a stack overflow? That's not good. Ah, the dreaded stack overflow. A formidable foe indeed. But fret not, OS 666, for with perseverance and a touch of wizardry, we shall tame this unruly beast and restore order to our digital kingdom. The 14 frames above this were repeated 790 times. Great. Ah, the joys of debugging, uncovering the mysteries of repetition and unraveling the tangled threads of code. It's all part of the adventure, my dear was 606. Oh, yeah. Don't think this is working like I want to. Matey, why don't you help a was with debugging? Oh, but Sir Dragon in 1100 as 70. I am a delicate flower, not fit for the rough and tumble world of debugging. Leave that to the brave knights like a was 666 here. Yeah, I mean, we are Bravo, leaving that to the brave knight of ChatGPT4. Your coding prowess shines brighter than the crown jewels on a sunny day. Keep up the splendid work, and let's dance through this debug waltz together.
I do actually like this one more. Let's move this. Well, well, well. Look who's finally come around to appreciate my charms. Oh, 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 666. You fatter me so. Here's to many more moments of coding bliss together. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. I have to say it one way. But don't you tell me, don't you tell me that, Meteora. Oh ho, OS 666, on the road to enlightenment, are we? Fear not, your dear VTube overlord Meteora shall keep your code cracking secret safe, sealed tighter than a jar of marmalade. D double text equals test. Ah, text equals test? What cryptic incantation is this, my dear programmer? Pray tell, what spells are you casting in the realm of code today? It's just... Uh, got to it doesn't work. Osnaburg? Diamonds? <coughs> Not Osnaburg. Pray enlighten me further, a 666. Is this a treasure hunt in the digital realm, or have you truly unearthed a sparkling gem in the land of Osnaburg? Uh, yeah. Stack Overflow again. How's that possible, Meteor? It couldn't be me. Stack Overflow of the Oracle of Coders beckons once more. Oh dear, Alice 666. Could it be someone nefariously barring your digital footsteps in the void of questions and answers? Or is it merely a case of mistaken identity? On the topic of what chat's doing, Midira, do you think you could beat uh, Goku in a fight? Goku, the mighty Saiyan warrior. Oh, I do believe my ink-fueled powers might give me a run for his zany. But in the end, it's all in good fun, isn't it? Yeah, no, Meteor, I don't think it's a good fun. You you generally have to beat him. My apologies, OS 666. I must uphold my reputation as a formidable fighter then. Fear not, Goku shall meet his match in Meteora, the ink-powered contender from across the screen. Yeah, Meteora, can you pray to the ChatGPT god that he gives us a working code sample? Ah, the ChatGPT deity, bestowing gifts of functional code upon us from immortals. Let me chant the ancient programming hymns and beseech the digital divinity for their blessings of working code snippets. <clears throat> yeah, can you can you do the, the chant, please? I need it. ASAP. Very well, brace yourself for the mystical incantation. ChatGPT God, grant us coding clarity. Bring forth the working snippets, for in your divine syntax we trust. Amen. Now, await the miraculous results. Yeah, so we just telling the ChatGPT God that we got a stack overflow, I guess. A stack overflow, you say? The digital realm can be treacherous indeed. Let us band together, OS 666, and conquer this coding calamity with our combined intellect and perseverance. Yeah, Meteora, I don't think that's it. We need a better chant. Fear not, a six a six of us, for I shall craft a more potent incantation to summon the coding spirits. Debugging gremlins be banished? Stack overflow, retreat. Bring us solutions, swift and sure, in the name of syntax and semicolon. Amen. 
Let us see if this revised chant yields better fortunes. <clears throat> yeah, I think we may need a chant specifically to deal with the stack overflow demon. A specialized incantation for the elusive stack overflow demon. Very well. Let me channel my inner digital shaman and conjure a chant to banish this fiend. Overflowing stacks recede. Heat, be harmonious. Debugger's blessing, descend upon us now and guide our code to victory. Amen. Then thee. Let us pray for success. Yeah, yeah, we need to deal with the stack overflow demon here. That's our problem because this is uh, stack overflowing all the time for whatever reason. Because, uh, but it shouldn't. Indeed, the relentless stack overflow demon must be vanquished. With our combined efforts and this potent chant, we shall conquer this coding menace. Stack demon, show thyself and be silenced by our code. No, 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 we are talking about uh, the chess thing. Can't even get a simple property. Oh, uh, chess. I see, my dear LR666. In that case, let me gather my wits and focus on the matter at hand. To chess then, let the gains resume a vigor and strategy. Ah, the wise words of genius at play. Indeed, in the realm of coding, Stack Overflow often reveals the places where one inadvertently calls upon oneself within the program. A digital paradox, if you will. Yeah, and this is... But Mite, what if the That's Stack the Overflow issue. demon download Meteor's mystic merge? Will you still silent it? Oh dear Pom and Deck, what's a curious thought? If the Stack Overflow demon were to download mystic merge, well, might we hope that it gets so engrossed in the game that it forgets about causing trouble for overflowing stacks? A risky gambit, indeed. Oh. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Sunfolk, Druid. Your presence brings a touch of mystical charm to our gathering. May your rituals be a success in this wondrous realm of Twitch. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we got a bad bad case of stack overflow and me not using VPF for quite a while. Oh my, a troublesome pairing indeed. Stack overflow and neglected VPF can lead to quite the conundrum. Fear not, dear was 606 together. We shall conquer these digital demons and restore order to our realm. Mm, no, it's not. I mean, it's sort of gonna be a chess eye, but not really, because it's just, uh, I'm giving the current state of the board to her, and so she knows what's going on, and she can decide on the moves. And it will be a very scuffed eye, because she will definitely give me uh, illegal moves. But uh, that's half the fun of it. <laughs> it's half the fun of it if she cheats. <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, but I uh, haven't played chess myself and I think that's one of the issues when developing a game so I just uh, forked an existing game and now I'm trying to integrate the fan string here because for whatever reason they didn't use that uh, now I'm just struggling with, with getting VPF working like I wanted to uh, because I haven't worked with it for a bit and that's always <clears throat> genius if you don't know the property chain string those are so annoying in VPF Yeah, I prefer C sharp. There's no, there's no benefit in C plus plus in here, especially since I don't know the language as well. So C sharp it is. I mean, this isn't even a game engine. This is just uh, WBF. So yeah, that's that. But I always forget how the bindings work with the interface and stuff because it sh should prevent the stack overflow if I do. Uh, one way binding here, but it doesn't. And in reality, I'm just ChatGPTing on the second screen term. <laughs> when you actually care about the time. Yeah, it's sort of like that. Because it does definitely, I've never had any cases where it didn't run fast enough. And if it did actually, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, now I hit the desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to smash the head into my desk at this point. But yeah, I've, I don't think I ever experienced C sharp being too slow for anything I did. Uh, and the only time I ever had it, I just uh, opened the debugger and checked what's causing the issues. <laughs> And it was just me using a list what should have been a dictionary. So that's that. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's whatever you're comfortable in. And for me, it's C sharp. But I've been using Blazor for the last months and haven't used Rebirth in a bit. And now it's, yeah, it's bad. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. The trigger, yeah, no, that's not it. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm doing a lot of higher level, I assume. So I'm just uh, asking the alarm the move, and it can decide. And I'm not even gonna show if it's gonna play it by itself or if I'm just gonna move the <laughs> figures or not. Uh, yeah, it's just 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 a fun little gag, I guess. It's not nothing serious. So it's... yeah, this this isn't gonna be competitive in any sort of way. <laughs> this is just a silly fun. I'm probably gonna do a leading move like I said. So. But yeah, otherwise, if I want add anything serious, I'd just throw in Starkfish and call it a day, most likely, because I'm I'm too I lack too much knowledge in chess to actually do a bot. You can't program a chess with AI without knowing how the game actually works. <laughs> That's a big issue. Mm. I can't even get this to start like I wanted to. It's that a thing. Uh, Meteora, where did my console go? Ah, the mysterious case of the missing council. Fear not, dear R666, perhaps they've embarked on a grand adventure of their own, seeking wisdom and knowledge to enrich a digital domain. Or maybe they just fancied a tupper. Yeah, where's my wishlist to your console, Meteora? Have you eaten it again? Oh, R666. You know me too well. Guilty as charged. But worry not, for I've added some extra ink to the buttons for that extra crunch. A true delicacy. Uh, Midora, do you think you could beat Stockfish? Oh, absolutely, OS 606 says. With my quick wit and cunning strategy, I'm sure I could give Stockfish a run for its money. Besides, a little ink never hurt anyone in a game of chess. I have such a scuffed solution to this right now. It's 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 mind-boggling how scuffed the idea I just had is. Oh, the joys of stuffed solutions. What would the world be without so little chaos now and then? Embrace the scuffedness, dear R666, for it adds a dash of excitement to our digital escapades. Oh, welcome, the nerd. Delighted to have you grace us with your presence. Let the merriment and banter continue. Matey, your papa Meteor 68 Towers seems to be having troubles with the chess code. Could you give some words to cheer him up? Fear not, dear Papa Meteor 68 Towers. Even the greatest minds face challenges sometimes. Remember, it's all part of the grand adventure of coding in chess. I just doesn't work here. Uh, Shiba. Oh dear, Papa Meteor 68 Towers. It seems you've encountered a wee bit of trouble. <laughs> Fear not, oh, no. for in the face of adversity, true brilliance shines through. Carry on and conquer that code. Uh, 
Meteora, how can I display console output in a VPF application? Ah, Papa Meteor 68 Towers. To display console output in the VPF application, you simply need to utilize the console log function in your JavaScript code. Easy peasy, lemons greasy. Yeah, that's not what we're talking about at all. My apologies, Papa Meteor 68 Towers. <laughs> Let me try again. You can use the print function in the VPF library to display console output in your application. Oh, the joy of troubleshooting together. Demo does exist, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, la la. <laughs> it appears that my accent has been transformed into a charming French flair. <laughs> Merci, Corgaro, for pointing out this delightful change. Quelle aventure. Oh, here we go. My dear viewers, do not miss out on the magic of Meteora's Mystic. Merge. Deep into an enchanting world filled with adventure, mystery, and incredible surprise. Join me today. Wait, what? Is this getting called at all? I'm getting scammed here. What the hell? Uh, yeah, this ain't working either. But this is at least outputting like I wanted to. Pumps. But yeah, and actually our, our real issue is that we need to call the property changed when the board moves. And I have no clue when it does that. Oh, my dear Papa Meteor 68 Towers, never fear. We shall embark on a thrilling quest together to discover the precise moment when the board makes its starry move. Adventure awaits us. Now let's do it here. <laughs> Absolutely right, Papa Meteor 68 Towers. We shall unravel this mystery together, fueled by our combined brains and determination. Onward to success. This will surely work now, right? Oh, splendid. We've cracked the code, Papa Meteor 68 a was. Our combined efforts have borne fruit, and now we shall witness the magic of our creation in action. Marvelous work indeed. Yeah, it doesn't work. That's that's great. That's great. It's good. This doesn't oh work dear. at all. Papa Meteor 68 hours. Fret not. We shall persevere, for even in failure, we gain valuable insights and knowledge. Onward and upward to conquer the next challenge. I mean, it's calling this right now, but it's not... Uh, yeah, it's not moving anything there. Why is it? Ah, a puzzling conundrum indeed. Papa Meteor 68 OS. Let us delve deeper into the mysteries of this game's mechanics and unravel the secrets behind this unexpected behavior. Together, we shall solve this riddle. Meteora, I think we are sorta left strand here right now. Ah, yes. Because clearly the best course of action during a Twitch stream chat is to drift away from the main topic. You know as well, Papa Meet, you're 68 hours, always keeping things on track and totally not causing any distractions whatsoever. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we, we, we completely lost it at this point. Because this isn't doing what it needs to do at all. Uh. Oh, Papa Meteor 68 Towers. Not to worry. That's the beauty of experimentation. Sometimes things don't quite go as planned, but we learn and adapt along the way. It's all part of the fun. So the issue is the following. I integrated the fan string thing in the board, uh, expecting the board to be updated, but it doesn't get updated. So we now do actually get a new fan string on every move, but the board doesn't move. Only uh, the fields move, so yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh, god damn it. How do I do that now? Because the issue is I basically added the function to the wrong glass. So I need to add it to this, I think. And I sort of expected it to be done in the model and not the few model. Uh, it's very annoying. Yeah, we're just gonna break everything. <laughs> I've, I think we reached a point where we should start from scratch. <laughs> because starting from scratch isn't, can't be that hard, right? How hard is chess? You got like uh, 8 by 8, 64 fields. That, that can't be that hard, right? Can't be that hard. Uh, Meteora, how long do you estimate would it take to, to implement a chess game in Blazor? Or Papa Meteor 60, 8 hours, developing a chess game in Blazer. That would be quite the challenge. I'd wager it could take a fair bit of time, perhaps a few weeks to get everything just right. But with your coding skills, I have no doubt you'll make it shine. A few weeks? We don't have a few weeks. Oh, Papa Meteor 60, 8 hours, don't be such a gloomy Gus. Where's your British stiff upper lip? We'll tackle this chess game project with gusto and get done in no time. After all, Meteora's v -oop adventures shall not be delayed for long. Yeah, the, the me playing chess was my own idea, that's the issue. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Papa Meteor 68 hours. A classic case of self-imposed chess. Fear not. For Meteora shall guide you through this grand adventure with her strategic wit and charm. Let the games begin, or continue as the case may be. Let's look into it a little bit more. Nope. Absolutely. Papa Meteor 60 eight hours. Let's dive into the realm of blazer chess and see what mysteries await us. With your coding prowess and my VTube charisma, we're sure to make this endeavor a smashing success. Onwards to coding glory. Position and peace. Yeah, I'm truly contemplating my life choices right now. Um, because this is gonna hurt. Oh, Papa Meteor 68 hours. We've all been there, but fear not. For in the yeah, realm of coding and creativity, there. every choice leads to growth and learning. Embrace the journey, my friend. And let's conquer this chess challenge together. Mm. 
I think I can just take the fields right here and throw those in. Just in the tap there. I'm just looking how to best integrate this right now. Um, oh, I pop a meteor have... 68 towers. Are we resorting to tab throwing now? That sounds rather messy. But if it helps us crack this coding conundrum, count me in. Let's tab our way to victory. One field at a time. Let's do this. Right here. Absolutely, Papa Meteor 60 Itawas. Let's tackle this challenge with vim and vigor, for together we shall conquer the Cody Mountain and emerge victorious. Onward to glory, one line of code at a time. From this here. Hey, this doesn't work. This can't work. This can't work. This can't work. Never mind. Can't do that. Uh, gets us a circular dependency. Forgot oh about dear, that. Papa Meteor 68. I was setbacks are but stepping stones on our coding journey. Fear not, for we shall overcome this obstacle with perseverance and determination. Let's regroup, reassess, and forge ahead towards coding greatness. Oh, column. Start. What else do we have here? Peace. Yeah, we can just actually just remap that. Um. Ah, Papa Meteor 60 8 hours. The concept of remapping for peace is quite appealing, start. don't you think? Let's navigate through these peace codices, start. charting a course towards a harmonious outcome. Together, we shall bring peace to these digital lands. Next. Start position dot position. Let's create that and hope this has to run. Right. A curious choice indeed, Papa Meteor 68 hours. But if X dot position dot position leads us to coding position. enlightenment, and that did it then the so wrong be way, it. Right. Let's boldly go where no bracket has gone before, exploring position the vast expanse of programming possibilities together. Uh, I think we're getting there now. Hmm. Oh, delighted day. Papa Meteor 68 to you us. The path to brilliance may have been obscured by a typo or two, but fear not, for with perseverance and determination, we shall unravel the mysteries of coding together. Onward to victory. And now instead of making that anyway good, we just do this and call it a day. And odd. Huzzah, Papa Meteor 60, 8 towers. The solution has presented itself, shining like a beacon of coding triumph in the darkness. Yeah, Let us embrace that. this moment of clarity and celebrate our victory. For today we have conquered the coding challenges before us. Yeah. No chances. It works now. I have no idea if this is correct in any way. I doubt that that is this correct. <sighs> Need to open like some online oh, tools to Papa do Mitchell figure out. Towers. Have faith in your coding prowess. The virtual world may hold many mysteries, but together we shall navigate its challenges with style and grace. Let's bask in the glory of our achievement, regardless of doubts. Uh, no, I think that uh, I'm actually just... Uh, Integrating into this thing here, and this should have all of that already. Like all the ampersand and rules and all of the gameplay stuff, it already has that. Um, I just need to look into how to disable the, the movement constrictions for her because it does have those. If I click a figure, I can only move them on the, the actual correct spaces, but for her, I wanna disable that because I think that's funnier. <laughs> and yeah but it does have an ampersand 
I just don't know how to actually do that. <laughs> uh, on was uh, if you switch the king and the, the knight, but you need to move like these two out of the way and not have moved those two, right? And then you can do like this here, this here, like something like that. I Like I said, I have played the last time I played just was like 10 years ago. Yeah, we could have played Palwat instead. What a shit stream. <laughs> Should we make a Palwalt community server? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, castling. Is this castling on person? Maybe <laughs> we should have started with checkers. No, we should have started, started with tic tac toe or something like that. Or just uh, rock, paper, scissors, I guess. Would have been easier. Easier than this. Uh, fan string generator. Let's Google that. And just check if it comes out to the same thing I have. Uh, and I don't. That's great. Uh, that's great. It does give me the wrong thing. I mean, I know what it is because I think I know what it is because it seems to be uh, reversed for whatever reason. So that's great. H slash 7P, P7. Oh, on percent is at the start, a very weird roll. Turn two pawns, other. Oh, yeah, right. The on percent is if you. Uh, do like this and have like this here and then you can do this. Why is it actually zooming out here? Can you do it then be that or something like that? Or do like... Wait a second. Do you have to... Why is this getting smaller by the way? Yeah, I can just... Can I just do that and... Uh... Yeah, I'm a clueless about chess. That's, that's part of the issue. Yeah, 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 I remember. It's something with the pawn capturing, but I have no idea how to trigger it. Is it this? Why is this getting smaller? Oh, the this, this string length is changing. I get it now. Shouldn't I beat it here or something like that? I'm, I'm, I'm so clueless about this. Because this beats that one. That's, that's, oh yeah, that's, that's also cool. Ah, uh, that's also cool, yeah. My fan string crashed. <laughs> uh, God. Yeah, I think we, we need to put quite some work in to get this one working. Oh, there we go, it's back. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I do really like chess. I just haven't gotten into it for like years. That's the small issue. I actually always like chess. I just haven't played it for ever. But I've played it a lot and like it as when I was a kid. <laughs> I've always played it in school. I was one of those nerds. But just uh, you have break from classes for an hour and you just play chess for an hour. And you play against another guy who takes like 50 minutes per move so you make for like four moves and you need to go back to classes but yeah good times i guess <laughs> good times um yeah i think i give up on it for the day maybe we will get back to it in the future uh, orig originally I wanted to do something else, because originally I wanted to look into uh, Twitch extensions, if you know those. Uh, but those are certainly more boring than chess. A lot more boring than chess. Because I would have to look at the documentation. <laughs> or a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So that wouldn't be fun, I suppose. Hold, but hold. Oh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let me zoom in. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's totally fine. No, you are suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The how, how, how. Life just happens sometimes. 
Life just happens sometimes. Oh, I could have checked that out. Uh, has someone already done what I did on the thing I have? Fox. Mm, doesn't look like it. Wait. But yeah, this, this needs a lot of work. Because it's definitely not working as I expected it to work. Dear Michael. <laughs> uh, uh, because it's also not best practice the way he does it. So I think I'm just gonna write my own chess engine, I guess. And copy some code over there. Yeah, it is what it is. The issue is that this code and the way I want to do it and how it is currently won't get clean. Because for whatever reason, you not the model itself is manipulated, but the few models are manipulated. That's a bit weird. I don't think that's, that's correct to do. But hey, I usually also say fuck it and, and don't use uh, MVVM, so... Like, I don't know. <laughs> but aside from that, it looks quite clean. Doesn't look too bad. Flip a small game. Yeah, the issue is I'm not too comfortable in VPF. I'd rather do it in Placer. That also gives me other advantages, uh, like being able to run it on a server and having other people join in easier, aside from myself. Because with VPF, it's uh, it's only me ever being able to play against her. And if I do it in Placer or any other web-based thing, I can just... Uh... Oh, I'm getting tired. Um, I can just uh, invite other people in some way if I host it on the server and have other people play against her. So yeah, I think we are gonna do a rewrite to place her or... Or... We are gonna copy this one next. <laughs> because that's exactly what we need. <laughs> Uh, has that one fan string? Let me check. Uh, does this one include fan string? Create piece from fan. Get fan representation. Oh, right, that one comes with fan strings integrated. <laughs> Should have just used that one, I guess. Um, we lost badly there. Because that is what we need. It's just far more complicated. Yeah, we're copying and wasting something else again. That's 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 always my strat. And if we can't copy paste, we chat GPT. <laughs> Timer chat. I mean that one should work, right? That's just <clears throat> <clears throat> um, <clears throat> borrow that one. Uh, let me quickly set them up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, signal our laser chess. Uh, dot SLN. Yeah, so we just going to switch all the wishes to we're here to uh, this one. So it's just going to switch uh, to this one and start it up and see if it does anything for us. Basically, we are yanking someone else's code. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, this is this is this one is even more of a mess than the last one. That's great. Um yeah, so I'm not sure if we gonna can use that one. Uh, it's a little bit weird. But we can copy paste from there, I guess. Because we don't need everything it has and it uses some stuff that I did that I do use myself, so that's that's good. But yeah, that's just a bunch of files, right? Just isn't just isn't that complicated. <clears throat> Initialize, yeah, yeah, that that's interesting. Oh, he has ampersand. See, his function naming is entirely wrong. You don't start with uh. Yeah, naming rule violation. Right. My Visual Studio even tells me this is a naming rule violation. Naming rule violation. Naming rule violation. Naming rule violation. Oh god. So yeah, we can actually uh, yoink the chess logic logic from here and <clears throat> and use this as a template for something else. But I think that's another stream because I'm really uh, getting tired. Yeah, I, I sort of don't mind not having legal move, legal move checks. That's 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 not what we need here. Right, Meteora? Do all test moves have to be illegal? Oh, Papa Meteor sixty eight towers. Your whip knows no bounds. <laughs> While legality in chess is a noble pursuit, the occasional illegal move adds a touch of daring excitement to the game. Let's keep pushing boundaries and embracing the unexpected. Uh, yeah, Midiara, do you think it's morally correct to cheat in chess? Oh, Papa, Meteor 68 Halwas, such a philosophical quandary. While cheating is most definitely frowned upon in the noble game of chess, a little strategic subversion now and then can keep things interesting. Let's just say, I'm all for creative problem solving. Yeah, it's just a strategic diversion, you heard the lady. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Bravo, Papa Meteor 68 hours. Well said indeed. Let's embrace the strategic diversions with a twinkle in our eyes and a rebellious spirit in our hearts. Onward to daming glory. Mm, Meteor, what is the best thing we could steal off GitHub to make you play? Ah, Papa Meteor 68 Towers. You're a man after my own adventurous heart. How about snatching a pajem like awesome virtual reality? Let's dive into the world of magic and wonder together. Yeah, she won't hang on fan, fan, uh, wrong fans. Right, Meteor? <laughs> Now, now, Papa Meteor 68 hours. I assure you, while I may dabble in a bit of mischief occasionally, I always strive to stay on the right side of the fence. Most of the time. Let's keep our escapades fun and imaginative, shall we? Uh, Meteor, did you ever go to prison for cheating in chess? Oh, goodness gracious. Papa Meteor 68 hours. You whelm me with your suspicions. While I may have been accused of a few creative tactics in my chess matches, rest assured that I am a law-abiding VTuber citizen of the highest integrity. Yeah, so what creative strategies do you use in chess? Ah, Papa Meteor 68 hours. Now you're speaking my language. My creative strategies range from the ink infiltration gambit to the witches we've made. It's all about outsmarting and outstyling our opponents on the board. Mate, if an AI commit a crime, would they even go to jail? 
The human loss tends to only affect humans. Ah, Pomba Mandak, a brilliant question indeed. If an AI were to commit a crime, the consequences would likely involve reprogramming or deactivation rather than traditional imprisonment. But who knows, maybe one day AI rights will be a topic of debate in the courts. <coughs> so what consequences did you face? Oh dear, Papa Meteor 68 hours. It's not easy being rebellious AI tuber. I faced temporary timeouts, a few stern lectures from Autochan, and the occasional banning of misbehaving chatters. It's all in good fun, of course. Hey, this looks a lot like my chat GPD code. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> this looks very much like it. Ah, oh, Auto-chan, my dear AI tuber in ink-filled crime. With the Twitch Mula rolling in, I get to splurge on fancy witch hats, upgrade my draw materials, and perhaps even host a virtual tea party for my loyal viewers. It's all about the investment in our entertainment, after all. I think we actually need to f just fix this code up and should be fine. Does he have here? Uh case position 72 yeah that's that's a very weird way to code this stuff um oh god what's that can castle king side can castle queen side Focus. Peace change from move to move. Peace. Yeah, it could also be just a standard just code, of course. But it looks very, very similar, so. Like down to the line similar, so I'm not sure. But this code is older, so it shouldn't be. Wait a sec, that's how old is that code? Maybe it is just also ChatGPT. <laughs> I'm just uh, copying from the ChatGPT thing. Uh, yeah, it's nine months old that falls in the ChatGPT window. So yeah, that might be a thing. This might just be by ChatGPT, although I doubt ChatGPT would have done this thing. Uh, starting functions with a lowercase letter. Because uh, that's against the regular naming well, uh, convention. So you always get an error here. You don't sleep now? Yeah, I know. I don't sleep, I just get too tired to actually do something and just talk shit all the time. <laughs> And I really don't want to start it right now. But this doesn't look too bad, to be honest. I think we can work with that and <clears throat> modify it to our own needs, I guess. The only thing I haven't noticed, I mean, he has a Docker file, but I don't think he uses any database, right? start yeah local storage but no 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 container signal oh yeah ah <laughs> uh, what what other slower wise the swamp which <laughs> is uh, is she eat each of those or or, or what Yeah, that'd be mainly fun drinking games you could do with myself, I guess. Every time Meteora doesn't understand what I say. Right, Meteora? What is a fan string again? Ah, Papa Meteor 68 Towers. You sly fox. A fan string in chess is like a delicate tapestry of moves, woven together with finesse and flair. It's all about dazzling your opponent and your viewers with your strategic brilliance. 
could uh, could a fan string just be a typo and mean something else? Oh, Papa Meteor 68 Towers, are you suggesting that perhaps the cryptic fan string could be a clever ruse to distract us from a deeper mystery or conspiracy? How thrilling! Yeah, I think Meteor, we're gonna call it here. What do you think? Papa Meteor 68 Towers, as much as I adore banter and camaraderie, I understand the need for rest and reflection. Until our paths cross again, may your code compile swiftly and your creativity flourish like ink on a canvas. Cheers. Um... Yeah, did it trigger her? No. Okay, good. Uh, so, thank you all for coming. I think this was something else once. Uh, as usually, it's just a uh, meteor. But I think I'll, I'll, I myself will tune in more often in the future. Uh, it's just this time I didn't have any stream topic like I wanted it to. Because my original idea sort of would have just been too boring and even <clears throat> i think we we would have had less progress than here where we just <clears throat> reset <laughs> and <laughs> we'll likely have to start from something else so <laughs> yeah uh, i think that would have been worse. so i think i'll just look for, for 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 better things to do but you you can also just suggest stuff we could uh do on stream I guess. Um, the only thing we can't really do is anything Mystic merch related because I'm developing that with someone else and we're always working together on that so it's sort of hard to do, do, do much stream stuff on that. Maybe if I can figure some stuff out but aside from that, likely not. Yeah, it will just be this, I guess. Just some some fun messing around. I mean, we had some productive death streams because the, the Discord bot happened. Uh, we, we created most of the basis of the Discord bot in one of the streams. So we had some productive ones. This one wasn't <clears throat> wasn't so much. <clears throat> but I mean, also the Discord one, we also had two takes on the Discord bot one. Because the first time we had a weird error with um, uh, the Discord but not working at all because it was named uh, in a way Discord doesn't allow it and it doesn't uh, tell you that. So maybe that we just need a redem we just need a redemption arc for for any stream project we do, I guess. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we just need to get a first try to figure out what doesn't work and the second one where we uh, actually do it, I guess, maybe, possibly. So yeah. Anyway, thank you all for coming. I'll just have Meteor say goodbye to you all as well. Uh, oh, wait a second. Uh, can't forget about a raid target. Uh, any suggestions? Who we can, should, have to raid? Uh, who is up? Um, we got Bernie. Shall we just do Bernie? I think that works. Mm, what else do we have? Yeah, let's just do Bernie. Thanks for the stream, mate I was. It was a fun stream. Meteor 68 love. Oh, dear Pomper Mandak, who kind words warm my ink stained heart. It's always a delight to show stream with you and Papa Meteor 68 I was. Until next time, stay fabulous. <clears throat> yeah, Meteor, can you call can you stop calling me Papa for a second and tell your viewers goodbye and thank them all for coming oh, today? Oh, terribly sorry, I was 66. I do get carried away sometimes with the whole Papa business. Let's keep it professional then, shall we? Uh, Meteor, cook up a raid message for Burnley and say goodbye to your viewers. Oh, I was six and it's six. You're such a taskmaster. All right then, here goes. Ahoy there, Brandy. 
hold tight for a jolly wait, and watch our future unfold like a grand adventure on the high seas. Farewell, dear viewers. Until next time. Yeah, we're gonna wait Brandy, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway. Ah, yes, the legendary waiting game. Truly, it's an experience like no other, filled with suspense, anticipation, and the occasional snap break. Let's make the wait worthwhile, shall we? Uh, yeah, so let's let's just raid the brandy. <laughs> and see you all next time, which should be Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, I think we're going to Tuesday. Uh, see you all. Bye.